YouTube channel. I'm Kimberly. Today is, uh-oh, <laughs> October 20th. It's a Thursday. This is episode 32, and we're coming to you from Haymarket, Virginia. I have with me Holly from Whiskers and Stitches and Angel from the Scrappy Angel herself. This is, if you've been here before, this is, you already know, this is a crafty podcast. We mainly talk about knitting and crochet and then whatever else we get to, which we actually have a couple of new crafts that will, well, new to me that we'll be showing you today. Um, if you're new, welcome. Thanks for joining and I hope we don't scare you off. And if you welcome to all those who are coming back, welcome back and you already know the crazy. So let's just get right into it. I have with me Angel and Holly because <clears throat> we all just got back from Rhinebeck. Yay. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> and you guys know Brooke, and Brooke is not a huge fan of acquisitions. The acquisition section, unless she's bought stuff. And boy, do we have some <laughs> acquisitions today. So I thought we'd have everybody from the trip on the podcast, and that way we can talk about all of the wonderful things that we bought and did and saw while we were there. You can find us on Instagram at Sweet Pea and Chickadee. You can find Brooke's crochet account on Instagram at chickadee.crochets. I always forget. <laughs> this is her job to say that part. You can find me on Ravelry at K Armini, just my first initial last name. You can find Brooke on Ravelry at B Armini 05. Where can they find you, Holly? Ooh, you can find me on Instagram at Whiskers and Stitches, and you can find me on Ravelry at Hollykins416. Angel? Um, you can find me on Instagram as the Scrappy Angel. Um, on Ravelry, I never can remember my Ravelry name. <laughs> I'll put it's, it right here. It's either A Seraphin um, or A R Seraphin. I just never remember. I think it might be A R. You think extra so? Letters. I'll put okay. it right here for you guys, so you guys okay. can go uh, be friends with Angel. On You're Ravelry. not going to find very many projects, so just forewarning. But they can see, like like Brooke said, you can say like your favorites. See you see sure. your favorites. Sure. Your likes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because everything that you favorite. Everybody can see. Oh. So be aware of that. Oh, well, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of Christmas ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> Just to forewarn you. Excellent. So let's look, get right into faux. So I had Holly and Angel bring a couple of their, like, recent faux to show. I have not that many and also a lot at the same time. So that's what's kind of interesting. Um, Holly, I see oh, your, let's I'm do your sweater. Go. Yeah. I'm ready to go. Yeah. This is the only thing I finished. For like a long time, it feels like. This is the uh, Half Moon Teat by Dragon Horde Designs. And it's, I don't remember the colorways, but this is yarn from Keridan Farms, which I got um, in Rhinebeck last year. She was so good that she made a project. And then you wore it and to... And I wore it to meet uh, Tristan, Dragon Horde Designs, who designed the pattern. And I got a cute little picture, I'll put it right here, of her and Tristan together in a cute little sweater and that you made it from yarn that you got last year at Rhinebeck. I think yes. I've only made like three small things from yarn I got at Rhinebeck last year. I mean, this is the only thing I've made. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a big thing. It's really awesome. Okay, let me show off and then you have some things, Angel, right? I have one thing. Okay, let me show off my socks really quick because they are crank socks, so they're not hand knit socks in any way. Um, and I actually, you guys, I finished, cranked eight pairs of socks since last time I recorded. Eight. I was going back and I'm like, what? Wait, eight pairs? Yeah, eight pairs. Oh. Right? So wow. then, because I made my friend, my high school BFF was in town, and um, I made her and her mom, um, who I still call Mrs. Brown, because her last name is Brown. And she's like, call me Beth. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I do it to her face, make her, because she'll like hit me and stuff if I don't. But like around other people, I'm like Brown herself, I call mm -hmm. my friend Brown. Jennifer. So, like, I don't know if you guys grew up in the 90s, high school years, but everybody was named Jennifer. So, we all had to have, like, variations or nicknames or last names. Anyways, that's a long story. But I made them a pair of Christmas socks. So all four pictures. I made my friend Brown. She had a pair of Peel Tab Shorty Christmas socks. I used West Yorkshire Spinners for that, like my stash. And then her mom also got a pair of, like, regular length Christmas socks. And then I made socks for Brooke. I made socks for my husband. Those are all off. Brooke has worn them. Now it's getting cold. She likes to wear them with her like shoes, like for a long. I'm like, yes, finally. Yeah. Finally, she wants to wear the stuff that I make for her. Oh my gosh, Brooke. Um, and then unless it's a tank top, she'll wear those like all the time. And then my husband wears them all the time because not work trips, so he's got all his. So the ones I have are just for me, are the ones I just finished. 
So I finished these ones, which I should have already had them on a sock blocker. Okay, so most of these, all the ones I think I've shown, except for the Christmas socks, they were West Yorkshire spinners. They were all yarnable, so I'm kind of going through my yarnable stash. These are also yarnable. I can't remember which ones these were. You guys all know, right? <laughs> it was like the spring or summer. It was not, I don't even know actually. But I love these ones. They're so pretty. Is that the Yarnable? Yes. Said? Yeah. They were all Yarnable except for that one. Am I going to be two minutes behind like I was this weekend? I don't know. <laughs> it was the weekend of Angel <laughs> being two <laughs> We were talking, we'd be talking about something and then, I mean, you were driving or on your phone or on your phone eating and doing something while they're talking. But then she would say something. We're like, yeah, we, are, we just, yeah. We, well, just, we just figured that out. Yeah, we just explained that. <laughs> yeah. Really, Hall and I would just look at each other like, or I would just stare at Angel and be like, is that, I, because I'm trying to think, like maybe she's trying to say something else, not what we just talked about two minutes ago. <laughs> I mean, she couldn't be repeating what we just said. So yeah, so I got these and I just made them um, long socks. So I do a 40 row hung hem, then I do 60 rows for leg, I do a normal wrapped heel, and then I do my measurement for the foot, and then a wrap toe is what I've been doing. And I really like this for my foot. And it's a good length and I figure like sh I can do shorties and actually when you do shorties on the machine it takes me longer to do a pair of shorty socks than it does That's interesting. unless I'm gonna do just a normal hung hem which I never do because you do a heel tab shorties mm -hmm. and to do a heel tab you have to do another little mini heel and that takes time oh. so that's why this takes like no time I feel like and they're fun and I really liked how this colorway came out um and then my other pair are these West Yorkshire spinners? I, what what Christmas was this? Twenty twenty? I think so. I think this was twenty twenty's Christmas colorway. It was, I think it was called Robin. Yeah, Robin. And then the contrasting color is also West Yorkshire spinners, and it's nutmeg. That's what I use. And I really like this. And then I was like, it looks very fall as well, even though it's supposed to be Christmassy. But I was like, you know, I'm just gonna crank. Like, I love self striping and I want to knit myself striping, but I've got so much of this West Yorkshire Spinners stash. I was like, I just need to crank some things, or else I'm never going to get through them. And now look at all the socks I have. And then, fresh off the machine last night, I'm like sitting on them too. So I have, I'm going to count them as fellows, even though they're not all the way done, but it's only because I need to separate them and Kitchener them and weave in ends. So the first one, so this is what it's like when it comes right off the machine. These were actually all attached. It was one long tube, but you can see right here that this is where the sock separates, where the waist yarn is. I've got a hung hand, the exact same pattern as before. This is the um, West Yorkshire Spinners. I actually have this one in the Sunset Bouquet. So it was the, oh, I forgot. I can't read that, the, the cursive of that name. I think it's the Mola or something, Rhodes. Very famous Thanks. person in the UK or in Europe for being colorful with all their stuff. Zamola, yeah, Zamola yeah, Rose. Yeah, I think, and someone corrected me at one point. And it's Sunset Bouquet 1023. And I thought this was gonna stripe, and then I started knitting it, and I'm like, that definitely doesn't stripe. That's not stripey at all. But I'm um, very pretty, and so I haven't even, like, woven in. I need a kitchen of the toe, detach, weave in ends. And then I made some for my mom. Mom, you're gonna see your socks. Um, did you know what my mom watches all the time? Hi, mom. Um, and then she comments, cause she's super sweet. And she'll comment like, that was a great job, ladies. Or it was a really good episode. But then she acts like she's not my mom, you know? <laughs> and so I always comment back. So I, I comment back on everybody's comments. So if you leave me a comment, I comment back. And so I called back, I'm like, thanks, mom. And then she messaged me separately, like, on my phone. She's like, you're not supposed to say I'm your mother. <laughs> oh, and thanks, mom, for the coffee. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, moms, it was so sweet. She, like, surprised me with, like, a gift card in my email for all of us girls to get coffee on our way on our trip, so. And us girls partake of the well, coffee, yes. that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need the coffee. So, okay, so I had this left over from Shorty Socks that I did. This pink, this pink yarn wool yarn. I don't know. I don't remember any of them. But look, I used the same from the socks I just did for the heel for contrasting. So this is what it was supposed to look like, this pair. I did a really large hung hem. I did 60 rows hung the hem and then did another 10 rows and then did the heel, regular wrapped heel 
and did her foot. So then I swore I had enough yarn to do both socks and I did not think I had enough to do heels and toes with this. Well, I was wrong on both. So I got to here and just picked up and then did the rest of the foot here. And I had tons of yarn to do toes and heels on both, but whatever. And this part goes in her shoe, so it won't really matter anyways, but it actually looks really cool. Brooke actually was like, I really like those. So Brooke might steal them, but they will not fit her because my mom has smaller feet than I do. And Brooke has larger feet than I do, so it would not work out. But I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see if she likes these, like the hung hem with the, so they're kind of like middies, they're not super shorties, but like middies, I would say, with like a nice stretchy, comfy, cozy cuff. That'd be kind of nice. I should make me a pair so I can try them out. I'm about to wait for her at Christmas time to try them and see if I, you know, if she even likes them. See, this is great for the winter time mm -hmm. because let's face it, the one thing on me that always gets cold are the ankles, mm. especially when you go out. So having that double hem would be like, oh, nice yeah. cozy ankles. Yeah. You know what it kind of reminds me of the two, like, remember those little socks that we, with the little frillies on the end? Yes. Yeah. Um, it reminds me of that a little bit. <laughs> Minus the frillies. Oh, Pico edging. Yeah. You can do that too. And which you can do that on the machine. Isn't that crazy? What? I know. Oh. I know. I haven't even seen. We're just I haven't gonna, even gotten that far yet. We're just going to come and sit and watch you crank some socks. I told you, if you bring me, like, some satchel on me and crank in the tubes, I will. it takes me, like, five. I mean, I have to, so you have to do once to gauge, and then the next time it takes, like, five minutes to crank the tube. Oh, wow. It really is not hard. That's amazing. Once you know how to do it, of course. But, yeah. All right, so those are my socks for that I have now. Angel, do you have something you want to show? Um, the only foe I have is my ranunculus that I got done for in time for Ryan Beck. Um, Chelsea Lux Yarn in um, it's a DK. I forgot what the name is, but it's the not her boucle. Is, what is it's her? But I can't remember. But it was '80s Radio is the colorway. I love and 80s radio. I absolutely love it. It is comfortable. It is loose and flowy and. And you wore that to Woolen Folk? Woolen Folk, yeah. Woolen folk. I wore that to Woolen Folk. That's and awesome. I found the long sleeve shirt that was supposed to go with it that I packed. <laughs> and when I say packed, I mean it was folded up on the edge of my bed when but I came searched, back. <laughs> but we searched for it that day. Like, where is this shirt? Oh my goodness, I tore and everything apart. It was awful. <laughs> That's funny. But also, do you want to show off Holly? Your, oh, um, we didn't talk about oh, what you're wearing. Thing. Um, oh, just this whole thing? This, this beautiful is, thing? This is from last winter. It is the Puff Cowl, I think, uh, by Tony Lipsy. And it is with a two different mini sets. This first half is... Amplifiber? Amplifiber, like 80s... Eight, 80s mixtape. 80s mixtape, yes. Because I have the same fans. Why? That's yes. the only reason why I And then the bottom half, I don't remember if it had a name, but it was uh, by Monkey Depth. You didn't really get a pair of those together. It looks really nice. I mean, I just looked at them. I was like, I think it'll work. <laughs> it totally what, what's works. Tony's handle? T TL Yarn Crafts. TL Yarn Crafts. Yeah, Tony. And also, uh, we saw a bunch of those at Rainback, right didn't we? Yeah. I saw a couple Something of them. Like, yes. They're bigger, though. Is there, like, yes. Was there different uh, sizes? Well, I think my gauge was off, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, it suits your, you know, smaller frame, actually. So yeah. it works out. It's beautiful. We have some that were quite large. Not like well, really and I mean, big, like but... you can do a whole bunch of minis like I did, or you can use like a full skein or blend okay. two skeins together or whatever. It's very up to interpretation. I really so, like it. Yeah, and they may have just used more yarn than me. I like it. Looks really nice. Really pretty. I'm, I'm wearing do another one. I know. I. <laughs> I, wanna, I might have to make one I of those. Make those. You said the puff stitch was fun. Wasn't oh yeah, it? that was a lot of fun. Oh okay. I can make one of those. All right, I'm, I made this for actually Ryan Beck of last year. Yes. And then I wore it again this year because I had not finished my skull cowl or scarf. Well, it's Memento Mori, I think. Um, but it's so cozy. I love this thing. Oh, it's a true color sweater by Bray Bell. I think that's how you say. And it's got the intarsia on the sleeve. And this is all using drops air. You test knit that, didn't you? I test knit it. And so I purposely, because I looked at it, I'm like, you know, that would be really good as like an oversized sweater. Because I like, if I make an oversized sweater, I feel like it has to, not all sweaters look good as an oversized sweater. Mm -hmm. So like you have to kind of just kind of see the boxy shape in it. And I'm like, okay, so I test knit a size or two even larger than what I wear. And I love, I just love how cozy it is. And Drops Air is nice. I wear this a lot. And it's very affordable. And I ordered a lot from, um, it was from Canada. 
Um, what's that um, Canadian store that's big? Es es yeah, es Espas Rico. Rico. I'm pretty sure I got from there. I got like a whole bunch. And I kept ordering all these single skeins. I couldn't pick the colors. Like some came. I'm like, I don't know if I like that blue or that whatever. So I ordered like 10 more. I think they're all in here somewhere. It could be used later. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cozy. Okay, and then I got two more hats that I finished, and that's it. So, oh, this is my DK Muscle Burra. So it is yarn by Lavender Loon Yarn Company, and this is the Craving October colorway, and I love it. I got it at India Tangle last mm -hmm. year. Um, so it's DK weight, so it's not as long as a normal um, Muscle Burra. But what I did, I just weighed how much I had after the increases in that, because I only had one skein of yarn. So I wanted to keep it. You know, because if you have two skeins, then it's fine. But or some people do half one and half of the other. I just want to use this one, and so it fits great. Um, you just can't pull up. You can pull up a little bit, but like you really just use it as more of like a slouchy beanie. And I really like it. It's cozy. It's a good color for like fall and stuff. Oh, this goes my hair. Um, and then also, Angel, do you want to show your? Uh, oh, don't you want to show your other hat? I can show my other hat. Okay, <laughs> so this hat has been through a lot. This is the Rafa hat by uh, Hohi Locatelli, or Rafa's hat. It's Rafa's hat. It's a free pattern. Um, she has it all in one color, and um, it looks great. So I have, as you guys, if you guys have been along with my trail of a skein cocaine mini skein set, this is a, a worsted mini skein set. Um, I think it's the His Dark Materials mini skein set, and I love it. And I've gone through, like, two or three versions of hats like when you have a, such special yarn mm -hmm. that oh, you yeah. love so much and like you're, I just not wasn't loving anything I was making, it's me. And so I had a bazillion ends to weave in because I had already kept my yarn so many times. <laughs> so it was a pain. But this is great. It's just a rib pattern broken up by garter. And so anytime I change to the garter, like this little garter strip is when I would change color. And I got all the colors in there. I think I did... So it's normally one, two, three, and then half of one start at the crown. So I really only did a little bit extra, it's a little bit taller than normal. But I can totally fold it up. It's very great because it's um, very stretchy because of it, the one by one rib. And um, I'm not sure if I 100%, I don't love it as much looking at it. Because my original thing was to make smaller, thinner stripes, mm -hmm. which I did love. But the pattern, like my gauge was off, and so it was still too small. And... I don't love it as much in blocks. I mean, it's beautiful. I don't love it that I put it into blocks, but when it's on my head, it looks nice. Like I like it on my head. Obviously I haven't um, trimmed all my edges, but I woven them on. Do you guys want to see how many there were? Oh my gosh. I literally had so many and I, um, I was cutting them before I was blocking it. I'm like, do why am I cutting it before I block? So I never cut them before I block because sometimes it'll stretch. Yeah. I stopped doing it and I haven't cut the rest. Anyways, <laughs> um, but I like it when it's on. So like, let me see if I can put it on, make it look okay. So it looks actually, <laughs> that looks really good. It looks good on and you can even, when I cut my ends, you can like, you know, do the whole whatever. I like the blocks on my head. I just don't like it when I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yeah. I've never had something like that. Usually I love it both ways. So I don't know, but I still love it. And it's an amazing yarn. The yarn was skein cocaine. I don't know if I said that, did I say mm -hmm. it was skein cocaine? Um, and I really want another of these mini sets. Um, because I want to make matching fingerless mitts. Mm -hmm. But then I have to color because I want it to match. So I would have to color block that, and I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. It would probably look amazing on my hands. Well, you can make the you can make the uh, stripes smaller on your hands. And it won't look the same. It will look the same. It's just, <laughs> your hand is smaller than your head, so yeah. if you yeah. make them smaller blocks, you should be able to. Do I know I would have to shorten the blocks because, right? Yeah, because if you think about it, you wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I don't know. I love the I love the yarn. I love the yarn together. I just don't know if I love what I did with it. But it looks good on my head, and it feels nice. So that's my long story about my. This poor yarn. I, I was like, I will leave you alone. I promise. This is the last time. <laughs> I was like, trying. I was like, oh my gosh. And I, I never cut yarn. I was like, I'm for, like, for sure ready to cut. And then I've cut it so many times. I like don't even know. But it's wonderful. Okay. All right, Angel. So the only reason I had one faux, as far as knitted, is I was working on. I found a pattern, um, 
that I wanted to try out and see if people would like to um, purchase it on the website. So I made a bunch for our group and um, another group that we met up with. And it's basically, it looks like a little box when you look at it, but when you open it, it pops open and it makes a tray. So I wanted to try something and have them test it out basically to see if they thought it would be something interesting. Sorry, Holly, I'm covering your face. And then I have little Notion pouches that are coming soon to the shop. But that's pretty much what I did. So I made like 15 of these mm -hmm. and I handed them out um, at Rhinebeck. So this one's Kim's. I forgot mm -hmm. to bring mine. Um, so she let me borrow it. So these were my foes. Yeah, there was a lot. Um, I know when you like, I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many you made. I love, what, what is this fabric used? Linen, you said? Linen. I love this gender neutral, totally matches anything, like simple. Yeah. But I, yet very, it's very nice. Like the. And I have the linen in multiple colors. So it's, you know, I have one that's like a black and it's got a shiny and then it comes in pink and cream and blues and greens and all So everyone that got their prototype, we got, we all got the same color. And yes. I love it. And of course it's got angels, you know. My little angel. And it like literally like pops right open. And I guess they were you can have yarn coming out of here. Yeah, that doesn't right? snag. Yeah, this is on the both sides. Yeah. No oh. snagging. So you could like literally be using it as a yarn, what do I call it, management kind of system. Mm -hmm. You can fit at least two skeins and two cakes in here right. at least with, with other stuff. So those will be coming next year probably. And also her new little notion pouches. But she's got like, is that a D ring on it, you said? Yeah, that's a D ring. So you can attach it. And I love this because when I open it, I can see everything right here. Like I usually, I used to like, which I still kind of like, but triangle pouches. I was big right. into that because they're, they're open. They're great. But there's also a lot of like extra space you don't really need. I like this too because you can see it right there mm -hmm. and there's nothing hiding. Because like my triangle pouches, I, I lose stuff in there. Right. Um, which is shocking. And I got cool. new tags. She's got her little scrappy angel. Finally. Tag. There's one there. I'm covering with my nails. Not helpful. But also like right there. So I know I kept can... telling her, I was like, put that on there because I do it all the time where I forget where I bought something. And I'm like, where did I buy this from? And I have no idea who it is. So yeah. So yeah. These two uh, get stuck with a lot of my prototypes. <laughs> it's, it's a really hard life to get prototype materials to try out. Look how easy that is. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, that's it for my foes. <laughs> and it's my acquisition. But okay. I think we're good with foes, right girls? Yeah. Okay. Next up are whips. I have quite a few. How many did you bring, Angel? I have three. Okay, awesome. I'll go first. I have quite a bit, I have like four socks, right? Yeah, four pairs of sock whips, and that's just the ones I've been currently working on, which is this kind of, it was the time when I couldn't decide on what to cast on, so I cast them all on, which is like what it is. So I almost finished one sock on each of them, except for one I just cast on on our trip. I, I won't just to the heel. So the first one I have here, I had my little ghosty, just marking where I was when I showed you guys last time, which is backwards, it's okay. This is Woolen's and Nosh yarn, and it is in the pretty little flower. Dry, no, pressed flowers. Pressed press flowers. flowers. Pressed flowers sock set colorway. So this is the main color. This is the sock or the little mini that comes with it. I like that brown color. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just doing shorty socks. I think I made a long, longer cuff than I normally do, but I like it. Nice and squishy. And I just, everything's all done on that one. This is the only one that has a heel. <laughs> <laughs> And then I haven't even cast on the next one. It's all, they're all on my Kimberly pouch um, by <laughs> Scrappy Angel. Um, this was the Droids one. Do you still have the, I always talk, now I can ask you in person, do you have the Droids left in the shop? Yes. She's got Droids left in the shop. It was in like all the bags. In all the bags? In all the bags. This was a part of her Halloween release last year. And I love the Droids. I loved it so much that I got it in two different bags. <laughs> but there's the Droids and... I'll show you what the yarn looks like, all caked up. And Woolen's and Nosh is amazing, and I didn't buy any Woolen's and Nosh. They were at Woolen, she was at Woolen Folk, Michelle was. Um, so here's what it looks like. Very like, 
Brooke said it looked very fall. It does have a fall. But there's her, I don't know if you guys can see this. We're farther, I'm farther away than normal from the camera. And her yarn is 90% superwash Tarji and 10% nylon. So it's very, you probably can't read that at all. Um, very squishy. And so what I like about Woolen's Anosh too is that while it feels squishy while you're knitting it, also when you wear it, you can feel yeah. the squish. Because a lot of times it feels squishy when you're knitting it, but not necessarily on your feet. But I definitely can feel the squishiness when you're wearing it, which is nice. I like it. Um, I'm just going to go throw all my socks. <laughs> considering I've got four really quick. Um, okay. And the next one I have in my Loch Ness bag. That is adorable. I love it so much. It's so cute. I love the inside. It's like this purple flowery. You guys can't see. I don't even know what I'm trying. Okay. So I finished one sock. This is the white birch um, fiber. Wait, what's the name of this place? White birch something fiber art. Oh, I put it in the pocket. <laughs> Can I put it in the pocket? <laughs> <laughs> White Birch Fiber Arts. Yeah, you're right. White Birch Fiber Arts. And this is the May the Oz Be Ever in Your Favor colorway. It's an 80-20. Oh, yes. And she's the one that has, or they're the one that has, like, the two skeins of identical. And I'm just using a half skein, half of the skein. I love the stripes. I love mm -hmm. the red pops. I'm doing an afterthought heel, so I don't have the heel on yet. But this is where I was when I showed you guys last time. I just cast these all on last time. So now I'm actually having a finish sock. That's They're a very, very shorty color. I I know, right? Very effy. From Hunger Games, if you guys don't know what that reference was. And so it's very pretty. And I'm going to do a afterthought heel, which if I would have known I was going to do a solid, I should have just done the heel. But I had, it was like I was knitting the sock. I hadn't decided what color I was going to do. So I just went ahead and like, I'll do afterthought. But I think I'm going to do this. Bold purple. That would be really yeah. And I got this. I like. I used some of it already, so I think I have enough. It's a real one mini, and I don't even remember which one. But I love. I was like, oh, this is nice. If not, I probably have it. <laughs> I'm hoping to get. I was just showing them how much I've used my real one minis for my blanket, and I'm hoping we will start that up again next year because I love real one minis. And Brooke loves reading off the names on the podcast. I find it interesting. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so that's the first one. I basically sat down the other night and Kitchenered all these toes. They just they were just sitting there without Kitchenered, without being Kitchenered. Is that a word? Okay, it is now. <laughs> all right, and then my other sock that I finished one. This is in a Cottontail Farm bag. I think I got it at Shenandoah, like 2019 or something. Isn't it cute? Little birds. That's an adorable. I bird. like birds. I don't know what it is. Um. Okay, so this is my first nomadic. The nomadic yarns. Yes. Nomadic yarns, and I have plenty of her yarns. Have never knit with it yet. I'm like, oh, stop buying yarn that you haven't knit yet. So try it out. Maybe you won't like it, which of course I do. I love it. This is her yak sock uh, base, which I know I mentioned before that she has. Um, sorry if I keep going off camera. How do you find? <laughs> I keep leaning. Um, she has a whole bunch of different bases for each of her stripy colorways, and also they come in half skeins. So I had gotten this as a half skein in her yak sock base, and this one's called Old Friend. Mm -hmm. It's very fall. Mm -hmm. But you can't really see the, the pink is brighter in person, I think, than you're seeing on camera. You mm -hmm. might not even see pink on camera. Anyways, afterthought heel as well, and I think I've picked out now this color. Mm. Oh, that'll be Which is another Owen Mini. Mm -hmm. Might be nice, like a little blushy pink. Mm -hmm. That'll be nice. And so I have not cast on the next one. So they're all like single socks. All by their lonesome. And I think I just did, I these ones I've been doing a little, slightly longer cuff. Just to have a little bit of squish. That's all it is. Because I usually do a pretty short cuff for my um, shorty socks. Like between 6 and 10. 10 is a lot. 6 is like small. And that, okay, I'll do the next one. I cast on a pair of socks while we were at our trip because I did the same thing last year and I love those socks. It reminds me, it reminds me of like when we're sitting around, you know, knitting and stuff. And so I cast on this bird. This is the Fear Street sock set from Bumblebee Acres. And I just have the cuff. I'm basically waiting so I was gonna like, put the heel on. So it's like the tiny little, this is a super long cuff for my shorty socks. Mm -hmm. I really like it. You guys probably can't see. I'm sorry if you guys can't see as well. I like the color, right? And I did a pop of blue on top. You probably can't see that either. <sighs> pop of 
chocolate blue on top, and that is the mini that it came with. Here's the mini. The bull blue, and that's gonna be the heel. So the heel goes next. And I was carrying it around in this little, um, when we were at Rhinebeck, I was like wearing it on my wrist and carrying it around while I was walking. Um, this is also from Cottontail Farm. She calls them pockets, I think. Oh. And the snaps, so you can unsnap it and then hook it on something. Oh, so you could have done that on your belt loop. I know, yeah. yeah. I like just went like this and just walked around like that. Or you can hook it on whatever you want. Um, but yeah. I only did that like one day. Thank you. We're waiting, waiting in line. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that was fun. So that's all of my socks that I have currently worked on since the last time. Um, next, Angel or Holly, do you want to go? Sure. This is the Granny Peplum. It's a crochet, well, Granny Stitch Crochet. Um, the pattern is by Crafts and Acapa from the UK. Um, and it's currently at like a nice little cropped length. Mm -hmm. um, but when it's finished, it's actually going to be like um, almost a full length skirt. It's going to be down a little past my knee. So. And you got to wear it. Yeah, I wore it. It was perfect length <laughs> for her to wear. Yes, I got it uh, just long enough to be a shirt for Ryan Beck, but uh, it, it will end up being a, a dress. That's just so great about it crochet. It's super adorable. Yes. Is that you can like it's stop. Finished. Right? I almost like wore the skull shawl because like hey, you can't tell. I just yeah. turn it on. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, notice. Who's going to notice? Somebody was like, I already had a sweater, but yeah. But yeah, that was super cute. And we actually have pictures of her. In her cute little outfit with her cute oh and your matching earrings oh i didn't bring them I didn't bring those she no. crocheted the tiniest little matching granny square earrings that matched in colors to her sweater and it was like the tiniest little crochet they turned out beautiful and everyone's like oh your eggs we were both wearing earrings similar like well mine were like crafted or whatever i did not make them it was like oh yeah i'm like no she made hers i did not <laughs> i bought mine but yeah they were super cute oh okay Angel. Well, since we're on the sock bandwagon. Yeah, let's do it. I, this is my first sock, cast on um, just so we can walk around and have something quick to knit on. Mm -hmm. Don't lose a stitch. <laughs> um, so these are just vanilla socks, which is what I usually do when I do self-striping. So you can kind of see this is the full repeat. I didn't, did you do that while you were there? I didn't yeah. see you. I she, saw you do the toe. I didn't see you do the main color. Yeah. yeah. I like those speckles. <gasps> so this is lollipop yarn, and this is the hunky dory colorway. Mm -hmm. So That's you've got, funny. my arms aren't long enough. I know. So you've got lollipop and hunky dory. And then the mini that goes with it is this dark blue, which you can see as the toe. So you do yours toe up. I do mine toe up. And then I, yeah. So I did most of mine while you guys were walking through the building if I didn't see mm. anything. So I have mine in my Rebecca pouch and I just put the carabiner on it and I just had it hooked to my, um, my mm -hmm. belt loop and I just stood there and knit. So it made it nice and easy. Let me do the stripes again. Let's pass this, pass this around. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Share with the class. So yeah, this is the full repeat. So you've got the the blue, which matches the mini. Uh -huh. Then you've got this green, this pink, the green, then the blue again, and then you've got this white speckled. I like how the pink stripes are different lengths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're different. I love lollipop yarn. Oh my God. I yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So this is my last lollipop. So you ordered me to order more? Is that what you're trying to say? Is her Christmas stuff out yet? I haven't seen it yet. Okay. But we. I, I, hi, my name is Angel, um, and I'm addicted to self-striping yarn. That's all I can say. <laughs> Olipop's great, because you get them already in those gobstopper balls. Like, yes. it's part of it. And it all, they all come with a mini. And, and the it, mini's pre wound it, too. Yeah, and it perfectly matches whatever, one of the stripes, basically, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's it just, I, I absolutely love them. And when she, when she has her updates, which are, they are on Sundays, not every Sunday, they're on Sundays. And um, she always has like a, a model, like a little sample. So you can only see what it looks like striped up. Right. Which is nice. I like. And oh, usually okay. when we order, Kim and I usually order together and we're like, okay, I want this, this, and this. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's true. I don't think I've knit any of hers lately. But you also had more than me of lollipop yarn. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I kind of um, 
went down that rabbit hole and I think the this was two updates ago, two or three updates ago. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I have four. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, okay, is that all your socks? Uh that's all my socks. Okay. Um next one I'll show my half and half triangle wrap. It's in my black pearl magic bag. This is the large size. Um and then you get this extra this is like separate thing you get. Oh <laughs> Why, thank you <laughs> Whoa. I, do, I have noticed that these kind of soften up a little bit, which yes. is good. Like, I mean, they're still stable or whatever, but ha like at first you're like, it's hard to like open it mm -hmm. very stiff, but it's, it's a little bit more nice, but still sturdy. Her bags are phenomenal. Her zippers are, I don't know where she gets her zippers from. I wish I knew They're worse. so smooth. Well, first of all, they're really pretty. They're always like super colored, but they're so smooth. I don't know what it is on both bags. And I have a medium sized bag as well, but I'm not using it right now. So this is my half and half triangle wrap. I cast this on to try and see, because everyone kept telling me how, or I kept hearing on podcasts, they weren't telling me directly. <laughs> of course they were. <laughs> how like you. soothing they are to knit. And I was like, okay, but it's garter. And usually garter to me is not soothing, it's boring. So I get bored really quickly, like I wanna fall asleep. This for some reason, it is definitely soothing. And it's cause you have to do a little bit of something at the end. Okay. And I think also your rows get shorter. Oh, with each nice. pass so like you cast on a bazillion stitches it's a free pattern by pearl soho online um you cast on a bazillion stitches and then you go to the end wrap and turn and come back and change the um no i was gonna hold it oh. change the direction so you go to like, right now i'm here so i'm going all the way to this stitch marker which you can't even see and then i take the stitch marker off, wrap and turn, knit one back to the other way, and then replace the marker. So I'm moving one stitch up each time. Oh. So now I'm only going to here. So it's just, they just get shorter, which I like. I hate when things get longer. I like it when it gets shorter. Yeah. And so you do one half of a triangle this way, and I, I'm assuming I pick up the other. I don't know how I get. Well, I guess they're, all, they're already on my needle. So I don't need to pick up. Interesting. Okay. And then you do the other color the other way. And I'm using, so they use... It's made for a linen quill, which is a Pearl Soho yarn. And I heard it could be scratchy, and I wasn't sure. Sometimes I can do some scratch, but not like a lot. So I didn't want to order it and then get a bunch of yarn and then it not be, you know, be too scratchy. It's also around your neck. So mm -hmm. I looked up like that yarn substitute website or whatever to see which would be most relatable or whatever to, to linen quill. Linen quill. Yeah, linen quill. <laughs> I'm playing this myself. <laughs> And I found, do you guys know what this is? Is it Isiger? Isiger? I've heard of it. I haven't knit It's at it. needles. Um, and so I got the alpaca too. So the 50% alpaca, 50% wool. Mm. So it's mm. not super soft, it's, but it's mm. very, like the tactileness is very soothing. It's nice, yeah. It's a very nice texture. It's nice. And so um, I've got this color for the first half and the other half is like a, it's like a purple. I mean, it's purple. You guys have seen it. You'll see it later. But there, the stitch marker right there is marking where I was the last um, podcast. So I've made some good progress. Mm. This is my like TV today. Like if David wants to watch a movie with me, because he's obsessed with me. I have to stop meaning to watch a movie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I kind of hope so. He's, he's like, like, he wants to watch, we, we watch movies. Anyway, so if we want to watch a movie and it's something that I have to like pay attention, I this will be mm -hmm. what I knit on. Because I don't, I don't even have to really look at it because it's just knitting back and okay. forth. But then... I did mess up because I was talking, Brooke was talking to me, she, you know, she comes in teenagers at night and like knitting and she like drama, you know, stuff going on. And then I took off the switch marker, but then kept knitting. And so I oh. messed up where I was and I had to unknit like so many rows, not that many, like four, but they were long rows. Yeah. But now I'm back on, I'm back on track. So it's really, it's kind of hard to mess it up, but then I did it at the same time. I messed it up, but I fixed it. So yeah, I really like this. This is very soothing. And it's something I can just grab and knit really quick. I don't have to, I don't know, I like it. So now I, I get why they're addicting, but now and I know I like it, I'm definitely gonna order some linen quilt just to see it and I'll just give it away if it's too whatever. And cause they have a ton of different colors, linen quilt, like a ton. And like the Isiger stuff, they don't have as many colors. Okay. And I want something kind of bright. I like how people, they did like one half triangle is the bright color and one's more of a neutrally color. Mm -hmm. I like that. Because what you do is you, have you seen what it is? Pop or you the... half it. So you half it towards a full triangle. And so it's super thick and you wrap it around. So it's like a double layer of like, 
two different colors Grand basically color. yeah anyways all right angel you have more right and, and you're done right oh, oh, yeah, Holly. oh you're done brought, yeah. yeah okay um well we'll go with my so the whole goal was to have my stria done mm. so kim and i could wear them together well um so <laughs> at rhinebeck at rhinebeck um this is as far as i've gotten <laughs> sorry holly i don't mean to like just shove my i told you it's a definitely so product knit mm -hmm. from here's my little stitch marker which was made by whiskers and stitches <gasps> oh, which one? it's my little <laughs> unicorn because oh. Me and unicorns, mm -hmm. they, they go together. You'll find that out here in a minute. But this is Hugh Loco, and this is in the Ash colorway. It's her, mis I'm not going to be able to talk today, Merino sock base. Mm -hmm. So I did that, and then the blue stripes was the, um, the birthday oh, minis. Yes. So my birthday's in June, which was purples, but blue is my favorite color. So I bought the September colorway also, and it has, um, oh my goodness, words are not helping me. So it's all the blues. It's the sapphire. That's what I was okay. thinking. Sapphire. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what you're trying to <laughs> say. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like, um, no, uh, so September birthstone is sapphire. So that's the colorway that I got. And that's about as far as I am. And I've been working on this for, what? I think at least six months i'm telling you guys so I, so I slammed through mine in a month and a half but only because i ref did not were, put it down you were monogamous yes yeah. i was i mean i, I was pretty monogamous for me i was definitely yeah. monogamous right. and it, that was definitely a product knit for me because i'm definitely a process knitter like, that's why i have so many whips i'm like i'll just knit on what i feel like and i don't mm -hmm. i don't mind setting things aside that one i knew if i put it down i would never pick it back up and so i was like i have to get it done and i did and i was like oh Oh well, I put it down so I could make this because mm -hmm. I knew this. I like that. Everybody had said the ranunculus is a quick knit. Mm -hmm. It's a quick knit. It's quick mm -hmm. knit. So I'm like, well, this is not a quick knit. <clears throat> so at least get a sweater mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine was really quick. When I made the ranunculus, I made it with the original one skein. Hold, you know, it was two skeins holding together, but I only did it in one skein. So it's like a little cropped baby doll thing, which is not super flattering in my current size <laughs> so eventually i'll wear you wear it like over like a mm -hmm. shirt or a tank top or something it's really cute because i mean it fits it's just that right flattering. well this is they 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 regaged it mm -hmm. so now there's like so many different sizes so you can mm -hmm. get one to fit like mm -hmm. you and then me and so i i did that and i made I like it, it i actually made it really oversized yeah. because those are cozier i like i like cozy i like to be able to just you know, and then not only that, but if I sit down, this hides everything that's underneath it. And also, didn't you lengthen the sleeves or did you? I did. Um, I like so that. I did the, I wanted to do the short sleeve one, but what I did was I did it as the long sleeve, but I stopped it just above the elbow because I don't like a three quarter because I'm either constantly pulling it down or I'm pushing it up and mm -hmm. it drives me crazy. Um, and I didn't want a long sleeve because I was afraid Rhinebeck would be like it was last year. Oh, hot. Where, yeah, where they're so like, hot. oh, you get to wear all your knits to Rhinebeck. And last year we're like, oh my God, get the sweater so off me. <laughs> it was so hot. But this year it was, it was, it was not as hot as last year. No, but it was still warm in the sun. Uh -huh. So like yeah. I wore a tank top under this, um, when we went to Woolen Folk and in the shade, it was a little chilly. But in the Friday sun, the yeah, and Friday, and then we were sitting on that hill in full sun mm. for the, watching the podcast thing, so mm -hmm. that was it. But no, I, I absolutely love this. This is going to be, probably I will wear this out and have to order more Chelsea Lux to make another one. Yeah, I like that. I like the 80s radio colorway. Yeah. I like, and it's, I like I have, it before in other bases. If you notice that it's kind of light here and dark here. They were two different skeins. Mm -hmm. So when I got to the bottom, it got a little darker. So I did the dark on the sleeves too. Did so you order that or did you? I, I actually purchased that when um, she was doing a pop-up at the knot So house. you grabbed them. Yes. Okay. 
So, and I wanted a slub yarn. And then um, when we were talking about it, she's like, this will be perfect for it. So mm -hmm. that's what I bought. That's really pretty. So. I like it. It looks cozy. It is. It's nice cozy yet light. Although it looks hot when on Friday. Friday I was warm. I was hot. I was wearing a I had to pull up my sleeves on that. So when people would stop me, be like, oh, your sweater. And I had to pull that. I'm like, oh, my God, full effect. So I pulled down the <laughs> sleeves and then explained my long sleeve problem. Right. But then it looked fine. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. 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 Did so you have? I have uh, one more, but go ahead. Wait, did you show the bag? What, were, what did you just show us? The straw. Did Andrew you show Mallory. us the bag? Yeah. They had it? Okay. So I have another Scrappy Angel bag. <laughs> this one is the Lorelei. That's the Lorelei. <laughs> Brooke usually kind of gets more than I do, which is just sad. She kind of corrects me. And this is from last year. Do you have any of these left? Yes. I have all of those up. Yeah. Um, my update last year was really small. So this year, a lot of my Halloween stuff from last year is still in there. And this is the Hocus Pocus one, right? Yes. Hocus Pocus. Um, and that's in all bags also. I love this one. It looks like even better in person. Like the bright pops of the orange and the red. I don't know what it is with those like, and the like, I don't know. Just amazing. Anyways, I love this bag. What do I have in here? I don't even know. Okay, this is my... Make sure I say this right. Memento Mori. Mm -hmm. And it's by Melody Martinez of Hot Bohem Fibers. So I saw it in their booth at like Shenandoah or something. Originally, it's how I first saw it. And... Oh, yes. Yes, yes. My skull. So this is where I, I'm like literally almost done. I'm like reaching right in front of you, Holly. Oh, you That's, can see the skull yep, so well. That stitch marker is where I was when I showed you guys last time, right in the middle. I'm almost done. I only have like... I'm finishing this last skull and I think a few more rows. I was super, I was super close, but I was like, yeah, I brought it in my sweater. But I love how big it is. Not too big, yeah, but not too small. Yeah, thank you. Oh my God. And so aren't those skulls amazing? I love it. So the one I saw in their booth that made me was white. And so you oh. didn't notice it at first. Oh. I had to do, a, I walked by it twice before I realized that they were, I noticed actually they had tassels that had little skull charms. And then I noticed they were skulls. I'm like, oh my God, there are skulls on this shop. And I was like, I have to make it. I love it so much. Yeah, I love that there's schools, but you can't see it right away. Yes. And I had this, you know, this is already in stash. And I had wound this up already. Do you want to hold this? Um, like a while ago to make this shawl. And it is like a knit crate yarn. Is this, is this even my yarn? Yeah. So this is Audine Wool Psy DK and the colorway Ladybug. So it was like a while ago. Because I don't do knit crate anymore. So it had to have been last year. Um, so 85% merino wool and 15% cashmere as DK. Mm. So it's very, very nice. Um, and I had two skeins of it. I needed two skeins for this. I was like, oh, perfect. And it's a good, like, scully color, you know? So it's yeah. kind of Halloween-y a little bit. Yeah. Even though it's a ladybug, which is nice. But yeah, so I'm super close. So the next time I show it, it'll totally be done. But I really like it. Look, oh, this one's nice. But I do want to make the little tassels. And I just love, I love the little skull charms they had hanging off the tassels. Mm -hmm. like, I want to get something like that to put on here. I think that would really make, be nice. But yeah. Oh, and do the inside of my bag too. Yeah. I love these bags. Okay. And oh, you guys know the Lorelei is squishy, but has the wire top frame. So it's great for being able to squish in other project bags. The Erin bag, which is another one of my favorites, is the same exact size. No handles, but the faux leather. leather. I kept saying faux fur last night. I podcasted. <laughs> faux leather bottom, which is great because it's, it's so nice sitting. So I have that around the house, like for all and of my life. And that has a, a foam. Uh, yeah. It's really foam fusible. So a lot sturdier. And also, I, I kept cutting you off, sorry. No. But um, those are like my longer term projects are in there that mm -hmm. are like, that I wouldn't necessarily take places. Like my granny square and also, what else do I have in there? Oh, I have my sister's um, Christmas cowl in there, too. Because, like, double knitting, I'm not taking that places. That's going to be like a state when I'm sitting at home type of thing. Uh, was that, are you? Yeah, I have one more. Okay, cool, me too. So this is um, the Kinship Shawl by Stephen West. Oh, that's right. So my uh, girlfriend is, her birthday's in December. And her favorite color is green. So this is where I'm at so far. And I've got the little black pearl magic. It's a unicorn horn. <laughs> so 
I'm not very far, but I am on the second, the second repeat. I'm doing the largest one, so hopefully I can get it done by December 1st. Actually, I need to get it done by Thanksgiving so I can get it in the mail to her. Oh. By December 1st, yeah. Or I might be like, um, yeah, when I see you next year, I'm going to give you your birthday present. That's usually what I do. Um, and then this is all done out of Knitted Wit. And it's in, I'll just show you the skein. So mm -hmm. this is Knitted Wit, and this is Holly and Ivy. This is the main color. This is green. I like that green. So it's really, it's, it's what actually darker. This is their uh, shimmering fingering. So it's 8515. So it's merino silk. Ooh, I was going to say. I don't. Ooh, that's nice. And then the contrast colors are you've got pleated khaki. And I don't know if you can see, but it's got some green specks in it. Mm -hmm. So I thought that would be perfect. And this is 8515 also. And then mm -hmm. I've got nice. brown sugar. This is the only one that's uh, an 80-20. Just her sock face? Yeah. I like her sock just face. Just the sock. Yeah. So when you put it's them like all brown. together, yeah. It, it looks, actually looks pretty. It looks brown. very earthy. Let me steal those mm -hmm. from you. It just, it's got an earthy feel, mm -hmm. but I just thought they were just so. And her favorite color is green, you said, right? Her favorite color is green. So having these as accent mm -hmm. just kind of yeah, grounds it. So. Yeah. I think so. I'm excited. She'll love it. And you said it was like. Addictive or fun. Oh my goodness, it? it is so much fun. And it's so simple. First, I mean, Stephen West, his shawls are blankets. Yeah. Um, but it's just, it's really, you're just knitting. Mm -hmm. Knitting pearls and slip stitches. That's it. Even with those like uh -huh. little scallopy things? Yeah. He does like incredible things with. I know. And you're like, how can I get that? You look at it and it looks so intricate and so, because I think I have. All my patterns I print in black and white, but oh, you yeah. can kind of see. So this is the large one. That's be nice. And I'm on this second part right here. I just started this second part. But when you think of all the green that's in there, I just thought it would be really pretty. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Be very nice. All right, so my last one is in my Janet tote, right? And that's that's a droids again. Obviously, I love this one. Okay, so this is my Stephen West mystery shawl knit along from this year. You also are doing it. You have not started yet. I have not started also, yet. You didn't even bring the show the yarn. Okay, so um, spoiler kind of, but I'm not even halfway through clue, clue one. <laughs> so, clue three came out today. <laughs> I mean, is it really a spoiler at this point? Everyone should probably have seen this because I don't. I mean, I haven't done a lot of this. This is the only other one I did, and that was the 2021, the Silk Shavaganza. And we actually, I mean, I went back to look at my stuff. We had a bonus. Remember, a pre-bonus, like, where it started a, a couple days earlier. So right. we, we had, a, like, a head start on it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we could have used that this time. Because, and then you finish Clue 1 and Clue 2 in a couple days. You, I feel like you had tons of time. I know Clue 3, I was, like up to like the last day and then clue four was like months but <laughs> but um this one clue one I'm like this is like it's not hard but it's tedious it, mm -hmm. it takes a long time to do it all so it's just like I don't know I don't know there was like what we were watching the podcast um somebody asked how what um needles of the ready thought of the new mcal mm -hmm. whatever and then they asked, like, who who was all doing it? So everyone raised their hand. Like, a lot of people raised their hands. Oh, yeah. They said, who'd finished Clue 1? And this was Friday after when Clue 2 had already been released. And only one person raised their hand. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I was like, oh, good. It's not just me. Because I was like, Because yeah. the thing for me is, I wanna, you want to keep up as far as you can. Like, right. I usually can get to, like, week three or whatever. You want to keep up because you know if you get behind, you're just kind of like, you're not in it anymore with everybody else. And now, because now that I'm, I'm so far behind, now it's just like, well, whatever, now I can't, I'm so far behind. But, here it is. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just bought some yarn. I love my colors. This is all stash again. I use stash for this one, stash for this one. Although, I saw Botanical Yarns had MCAL <gasps> sets there. Yes. And I was like, do I want to, like, get a whole new set and do this again? Oh. And then, I'm like, if I do this again, I now I know Botanical Yarn does sets, I'm going to order their set because it was so pretty. But the whole point of this was using stash anyways, so whatever. So here's mine. 
so far. Here's what it looks like. Yeah. It just it gets wider Here, at the I'll top. Yeah, they, these guys. Um, yeah, I really like the colors together. I like how I chose the main color because you choose the main color before you even know what's going on. Um, I chose the dark green as the main color. Okay, I can put this on. It's not much, I told you, it's not much to see, guys. I'm not even halfway through. I am not halfway through this. I mean, I'm close to halfway, but like, it's just because, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a paid for pattern. However, you can tell that I'm casting on and binding off every four rows. You can tell it's happening in here. I'm casting on and binding off every four mm -hmm. rows. <laughs> just like, so that in itself is just tedious. It's, right. all it is. it's not hard. And it's beautiful. I love it. But it's like, and now I have it almost memorized the pattern. Yeah. And what he does with those is amazing. Oh, I've seen it. If you haven't seen it, I mean, you're living under a rock if you haven't seen it. Right. <laughs> But it's very cool. Like I'm really excited about it, and it's gonna be, it's gonna look really cool. I'm just like, why is quilt one so long? It's really all it is. Um, okay, so the first color, my main color, is this great green. I love this green, and I had two of these in stash. And I don't even remember what yarn was, but oh, this was Dream and Color. So this was Dream and Color in their smooshy fingering, which is 8515 merino nylon. And it is green light is the colorway. I love it. And this was the one where I accidentally, I bought two skates, but like at two different times. That was the one where I was like, oh, it's a pretty green. And I came home and I'm like, oh, I already have one of these. That's when I need to stop going to the art store. Sorry, Marty. Okay. Then the next one is this like minty green, but it does look more kind of turquoisey. But it looks, see how turquoise it looks on screen? It's way more minty green in person. Looks very turquoisey, but it's got a lot of blue in it mm -hmm. as well, like blue hues or whatever. And this is Oink Pigments and Motion of the Ocean colorway, and it's in the Nimbus base, which is 801010. So that's nice, nice and luxurious. And then my pop of color, so this is my contrast color, and then my accent color is only one skein, and it's this one. Oh, wow. I don't even know why it's that. I haven't even used this yet. And this is woolen vinyl. Um, you can't even, it looks so much better in person. See all those pops of color? Mm -hmm. It's a peachy and it is woolen vinyl. Oh, it smells like teen spirit because all of hers are off rock songs. Yeah. And there's woolen vinyl. This is stuff I all had in stash and that base is her classic rock sock, which is 8020. So that'll be, you know, okay. It's gonna look really cool, I think. And so I was trying to, because I did that one, and then I realized I like the ones that, like, stay where most of the colors are in the same color family. Mm -hmm. And then, like, one pop color, but it has to be, like, a, a complementary pop color. So I literally, like, went on the color wheel type thing with <laughs> these ones. It was like, okay. And so I thought these were the same color family, but it does look more blue on mine. Um, they still complement each other, mm -hmm. even though they're not, like, green-green. Yeah. That's what I got so far. So I just really want to finish clue one so I can do clue two and then now clue three. I Did you look at clue three yet? I Not haven't yet. looked at it. No, I saw the email this morning. I was like, okay, I'll be casting on this weekend, which, you know, is that really smart considering I have another Stephen West shawl on already? I mean, at this point, you're already so far behind. Like, Who cares? But we're all far behind. Yeah. So right. you're not that far behind me. And there's some people who haven't. I had like restart or yeah well it's like we were watching while, while we were at the um the house we were watching michael piece for piece crafting we were mm -hmm. watching his podcast and he's like who are you knitting this for mm -hmm. why why are you so worried about getting it done mm -hmm. and that really spoke to me i know we talked about that at the at the house that was like yeah that makes sense yeah because he was talking about race? It's tr he was getting stressed out. He's like, why am I stressed out? I'm stressing myself out. Like, no one cares how long I do this. So right. everyone just needs to take a breather. I'm like, I, I have to, I'm actually pretty good about that because I really don't, unless it's like on a deadline or I have to gift it to somebody. Right. Right? That stresses me out. And then it makes me actually not want it on it because there's too much pressure. Right. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It, it like takes all the fun out of yeah, it. Yeah. I don't like that. That's why I, I give gifts late a lot of times. And I don't promise things on time mm -hmm. except for Christmas. Kind of a, kind of a thing. But I think 
Is that it for whips? That's it for whips. Yay, it's it for whips. Okay, the best part, guys, what you've all been waiting for, maybe, is acquisitions. If you guys don't like acquisitions, I, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next episode, but I'm sure, I'm sure most people like acquisitions, I'm assuming, right? So we're going to go through Rhinebeck and Rhinebeck Weekend. I don't have any other purchases besides Rhinebeck, so we're all going to be kind of oh. going through that. I don't have anything else that I bought, like, besides, like, earlier than Rhinebeck, obviously. But um, we're going to talk about the weekend, Woolen Folk, and I'll kind of explain. So I think some people are confused that, like, I mean, if you don't, if you have never gone, you don't realize that there's different events that weekend mm -hmm. in the same location. Right. So for us, for Thursday, we go up on Thursday. We make it like a long, it's like a six to seven hour drive for us yeah. Um, yeah. without stops. And so when we stop, it takes a little longer. And we always try and like stop at Yarn Swords along the way, which is kind of like crazy considering we're going to go right. spend a lot of money at, at the Yarn Festival. Yeah. But they're places we don't normally get to. And so where we, where did we actually stop? Frederick, Maryland? Frederick, Maryland. Yep. And, and the first yarn store we stopped at was Magpie, which I had never been to. Had you been there, Holly? No, I hadn't. You'd been there before. I'd been there before. I actually went on opening weekend because that was Maryland oh. Sheep and Wool. And I didn't go to Maryland Sheep and Wool, but I went there. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's really, it's a lot larger thought. They have a lot more yarn than I thought they did. And they have a bank vault. That was really cool. It was with a full door. Was there? I was like, what is this? This looks it's nice. Awesome. It was really nice. And I definitely would have bought yarn, but like, I was not ready to go to Rainbow. <laughs> I did buy a couple stitch markers, which I don't have with me. But um, yeah, did you buy any yarn? You bought stitch markers? And... I bought the two Gemini stitch markers and I bought a uh, one of their beaver pens. Oh, okay. But I didn't bring those with me. And I got the Cocoa Knits needle gauge that I've been uh, looking at for a while. So it's like the needle gauges are never this compact and it's pretty. And you also got a frills crochet hook, but you didn't bring it. Yes, my first frill. They had frills there. I was like, wow. And they're wooden. They only had the wooden? They uh, they had one or two that were not. Okay. But but they had a, a bunch of the wooden ones. But yes, my first mm -hmm. frog's crochet hook, and then I went and forgot it. <laughs> it's okay. Have you used it yet? No. Oh, okay. I was hoping you were like currently using it, and that's why you No, but well, I brought it to show my coworker. So. Oh, okay. I get it. That's cool. <laughs> it's in a different bag. <laughs> so Holly got a little chilly. She's wearing the... I was like, you can grab the Radvan throw. That's what it's there for. It's cool. It needs to be used. My Radvan throw. That's by Amba O'Brien. Amba O'Brien? Is that her last name? I think so. Okay. <laughs> that was like 2020 Christmas Advent. Yeah, this was the um, Yarn Cafe Creations, the Strawberry Shortcake, and the My Little Pony. Mm -hmm. They're both 12 days, and I combined them. I love those. They're so cozy. Okay. So, yeah, and then we went to Magpie, looked around. That was great. Then we went to the Knot House. The Knot House, house which Holly bought oh, some first yarn of the weekend. <laughs> this is White Noise Sock by Black Elephant, which is from the UK. And I just, I was feeling these purples mm -hmm. all weekend long, which I actually restrained myself on the purples. Yes. But they are what drew me in yeah. every time. And I got the little, uh, the Addy tool, which, oh, so freaking cute. And, and it's purple. It's also purple. You were like super in the purple. Even yeah. at Mullen Folk, you were super yeah. in the purple. Like, and she put back a lot of stuff. And actually yeah. at the Knot House, she, at one point you had an armful. I had oh, nine yes. skeins of yarn in my arms. And I wheedled it down little by little. They did have like, a great sale area. Yeah. They did. That was what I was like, oh, there's a sale area? And, well, and then I was like, I'm going to spend so much at these, at, you know, over the next couple days. I was like, I'll just get one now. I can limit it to one. Yeah. But my goal was soft yarn this weekend because I don't have very much. And that's, I mean, I, I got soft yarn. So. But it was really funny. She saw her with an armful and the next was just one. And I was like, what happened to all the yarn? Where'd it go? <laughs> She's like, I know. And then when we got there, they opened the door and we walk in and we're like, blah, because we were so excited to be there. And poor Kathy was doing her live. Yes. And we were like, Oh my god. <laughs> so we're probably the annoying loud people in the background of that live. I haven't watched it back yet, but it was Thursday, so I wasn't thinking about her Friday right. live, but it was because she was going to Ryanback. She was doing yes. it early. Yeah. We walk in, blah, blah, and they're like, okay. Sh they didn't say shit. They just, they were really sweet about it. I was like, they oh, were. Gosh. And Kathy's like, come on in. I'm like, oh my god, she's going to point that camera at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was so, and she's so, so generous with her time when you walk in there. Mm -hmm. She's. She's very good, and she will walk you through everything. And trust me, if you need anything, she knows everything. Because you've gone there multiple times, correct? Yeah. yeah. I've only been there a couple times, but they're very sweet. 
Yeah, they are. And Heather's very nice, which is mm -hmm. Kathy's daughter. And she's so. the one that dyes the yarn for us. Yes. Yes. Very cool. And that was all you bought, really, out of all that stuff? Yeah. Well, I mean, I got a sticker somewhere, but... Oh, uh, okay. So then, um... The house. We got to the house. Right. So then we get... we got, It was a rainy day. We braved the rain. Oh. Well, Angel braved the rain. Yes. And we finally got to the house, which is so great. And it was so nice. It was such a cute house. It was cute. It really was. And I actually thought it was bigger than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I brought an air mattress, and there was plenty of... I had my own little space, basically. I could Because I, I fully intended to have to break down my air mattress every day mm -hmm. and kind of roll it up, you know? But I had my own little, like, cove for my... And I had a giant. It was like a queen-size air mattress. It's quite large. Yeah. It was nice. It was a good house. The, the kitchen was were beautiful. The rooms were huge. Yeah. We could have totally fit like three or four more people. <laughs> I mean, seriously, with uh, air mattresses, air mattresses everywhere. everywhere, we could have totally done that. And yeah, the kitchen was stunning. Two bathrooms, mm -hmm. that tub. I wanted so much to get into that tub. Yeah. But then the hot water situation wasn't as great. Yeah. yeah. But then apparently it might have been better upstairs. Yeah. We never tried it out upstairs. We didn't. And by that last day, we had hot water everywhere. <laughs> and we're like, oh, well. We're like, oh, yeah. hey, that's nice. It was a lot of fun. And it, yeah, the living room furniture was great. We were all cozy. Mm -hmm. And we were so close to the venues. Mm -hmm. We were like 20 minutes. And it was yeah. like for Rhinebeck, it said over 30 minutes. That was because of the line to like for drive-in. And it wasn't even that bad. Because mm -hmm. we never went. We always went a little bit after starting time. Right. Because I'm not, I don't need to be in line. <laughs> I don't need to wait in line before to get in. Like, there's nothing I need that I'm going to, like, wait in line hours for. Because yeah. if you just go, like, a few minutes later, you get in a lot more smoothly. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's, like, not a big deal. And you're still early enough. Because some people wait for a while. Some people drive up that day, I feel like. Yeah. I, I couldn't imagine. But then there's a lot. I mean, the Northeast is. True. Mm -hmm. It's easy to get around. I mean, when you've got somebody who's from Colorado where it takes. You know, if you want to go to the next town, you're driving for an hour. Mm -hmm. You know, whereas the next state is an hour yeah. up there. So that makes it nice. So Rhinebeck is Rhinebeck weekend. That's Saturday and Sunday. A lot of people will just go on Saturday. We go, we've gone both days, both times. Um, Sunday's a lot nicer because it's less crowded. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Now, but a lot of things are also sold out. So, like, if you're something you really wanted, you should get it Saturday. But it was insane. Like, and I'm gonna put some video in here. I remember I got that video of like we we were look we started to come down the hill and it was like oh my gosh how did you get there? Yeah, well, and at lunchtime too, especially yeah. It was insane. I mean, it was midday. If we got there early in the morning, it wasn't as bad early in the morning. But getting through some of the booths, I was like, I couldn't. Like I would get in fine, and then I would start to get crowded. I'm like, I can't, I can't be in here. And then I couldn't. I feel like I couldn't look around. Cause yeah. I, get, I feel all the pressure and there's too much hot and people are bumping me and I'm like, I can't, I can't focus. <laughs> and, um, yeah, Woolen Folk was also quite busy. So Woolen Folk or Indian Tangled or Cake Palooza mm -hmm. or what, or what are the other ones? Are there other ones? I think that's it. Oh, there was the roller skating one. I don't Yeah, that was app. That was later at night though. Yeah. I don't think there was stuff to buy. I think it was just roller skating. Okay. But, so they have Indian Tangled, Cake Palooza, Woolen Folk. Woolen Folk. Those are like events that are on Friday and you can uh, purchase tickets to go to those as well. And they're all in like different locations, but all around Rhinebeck. Yeah. Um, we, last year we went to Indian Tangled. That one is just like Cake Palooza, whereas you have to purchase a ticket for a certain time period. I think mm -hmm. it's like an hour and a half to two hours Something about. Like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, and of course you want to buy the earlier, the better, because that's when you get more selection from booths. Um, and there's different vendors at each one. And those vendors are not at Rhinebeck. So there's like just different vendors from everywhere. This year we went to Woolen Folk. We want to try something a little different. And I'm so glad we did. It was so much fun. Um, that one was from noon to seven. A lot of people did both. A lot of people did two. Yeah. They went to either Indy or Cape Palooza and then went to Woolen Folk. Mm -hmm. Because Woolen Folk, you buy tickets and you go for the entire time. There's no time block, which was really nice. Yeah. Because I loved Indy last year, but I did feel like a time pressure. Like, you feel like you have to kind of make a decision really fast <laughs> to buy something, get in line, because you yeah. only had so much time to shop. Mm -hmm. And then I know Cake Blues is the same way. Um, but at Wolf Folk, we did it. And it was, it was, it was crowded. They, they tripled their vendors this year. I think last year was their first year. They had 25 vendors last year. This and they had year over they had 60. 60. Yeah. yeah. They, it was a lot. And it was great. There were so many people. 
but less than my bed because our deck was insane. But it was fun. I really liked it. Did you guys like Woman Folk this year? Yeah. I like the fact that it started at noon. Yes. yes. So, nice. you know, Thursday you're driving, you know, it gives you a chance to, to kind of sleep in the morning and take your time to get up and relax and have a cup of coffee. And then the noon to seven was phenomenal because mm -hmm. you got there, but then you got to watch the sunset over that beautiful lake. Oh yeah, that was nice. It was at the Hutton Brickyards and it was right on the Hudson River. Yeah, yeah, it was just stunning. It was, it was really pretty. It was a beautiful venue. Yeah. It was just beautiful. And, and we didn't realize it because we parked right next to a beach. We're like, oh, where are we? I was, I was really confused. I'm like, what, what is this? Like, Where's the lawn chairs? Let's go. <laughs> it was really cool. It was really, I liked that there was live music. Yes. Lots of great food trucks. Um, they even had like pot, like different, like, um, I think modern daily knitting or something like that was, was yeah. like sponsoring mm -hmm. people to have to give like talks and answer questions, like Q and A. So that was really fun. And it was just really nice. And a lot of great vendors. Yeah. A lot of great it vendors. It felt more like a fair. Mm -hmm. Like it was, you walked in and it was a fair and they had, um, vendors that you could buy things and walk around and then food and it, it felt like you were just meeting a whole bunch of friends mm -hmm. to hang out and just chit chat mm -hmm. and i i really it just felt more yeah. cozy i'm gonna be cycling cozy. through pictures as we're talking about it like okay until we're showing but yeah i really liked it i liked the setup i liked i just liked it some booths i never even got close to because it was so crowded the brooklyn yes. the brooklyn um the general store, the yes. oh, general yeah. store, the one that had Lobby on a May at, which we got to meet Amy on May. Is that her name? Because Lobby on a May, on May is how you say it, right? Probably. Yeah. Um, but it was so crowded, you couldn't even get. Like, in the beginning, you couldn't even get to it at all. And I, at the end of the day, I could kind of get close, and I was like, "Well, most things was gone by then." Right. Not that I needed anything from there, but it was pretty crazy. It was. It was. So yeah. I mean, I was excited because I finally got my hands on some earrings by Designs by Yasmin. Yes, me too. I was I really was excited so about excited. that. Do you want to show your earrings? Yeah. Also mine? Did you get any earrings in there, Holly? No. Because no. you make your own, you don't need to. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make my own, so I need So that. I got these triangle earrings. Mm. I think I got there, there you go. There you go. So they were really pretty. And they... Go really well with this. Oh, yeah. And then of course I had to get ooh, blue. 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 Maybe I should take them out. I was gonna say we should take them out of the package, although I have my one. Sorry for the crinkle party. But look how stunning those are these are. That's your color. You like blue. Yeah, I like blue. So those are really pretty. I also got two pair. I feel like you never get to. I never have seen her in a, a vending anywhere. Like I've never been mm -hmm. event, uh, at her shows. So the first one, so I've already worn. That's why they're on the package. I got these triangle ones. I really liked, and so they're like a sideways triangle, right? I like that. And then these ones. Those are really pretty. Which are a cool like diamond shape, like a teal. That was nice. These are cool. I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. And her smile. It lights up the area. I swear when she, she was smiles. Super cute, yeah. She had tons of selection too. Yes, she did. It was hard to make a decision. I think I must have stood there for about 10 minutes just going through her thing. And then to narrow it down to just two, mm -hmm. I could have I could have really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can order online, so that's what's yes, great about her Yes, you can stuff. order online for Designs by Yasmin. But yeah, all, we got to meet, Wolf Folk was all great, because it's also the first event that we were at for the weekend, yes. so everyone's so excited, and we got to see and a lot of our friends that we've only met online. Yes. That were online friends were going to be there as well, so it was a lot of like, almost like long lost friends, but then really we just have never met before, and it was yeah. so fun to be like, seeing the look on people's faces, like when you ran up to care was was Carrie. Michael from Peace for Peace podcast and Carrie from the Creative Obsession. The Creative Obsession. You know Carrie because you sew with her. Yes, we have a we have a sewing group that meets every Tuesday, and she's in it. And then we know Michael from Peace for Peace because from Peace for Peace podcast. And uh, so she, we were in line, so we we're like, go ahead, go ahead. We saw them coming. She ran to Carrie, and the look on Michael's face was like, oh, 
Like, he knew, and then he knew we were going to meet him there. Like, he knew we were going to see him. But, like, just, like, the pure, like, oh, my gosh, you're actually here. The joy. And what I found funny was not just us, but just standing back and listening to people. And people are running around, and they're meeting all their people that they haven't met. And everybody's, like, and you hear names being yelled, and people are running up, and they're just hugging. And it it just, I mean, I, I think it took like three days yeah. after, well, it's been three days, but I still have the smile yeah. practically glued to my face from the weekend. It's just, it, it it's just heartwarming. It was really fun. Carrie was super nice. I mean, I had never, I had met her. Michael is taller than I thought he was. Yes. I kept telling Michael, I'm like, you're taller than me. I thought you were. He's taller than me. Mm-hmm. I, he's probably as tall as Brooke. He's pretty he's tall. He's got to be a 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, Which is taller than Brooke. Brooke would never, she'd kill me if I said she's over six foot. <laughs> but, uh, she is, by the way. But, um, yeah, so he's taller than I thought he was. And it was really cool just being able to see people like, oh my gosh, I never realized how tall you were. Or, you know, it's just, or you look a little different in person. And it was just, it was, it was a lot of fun. Well, and meeting them, what's really cute is you watch, you watch people on the podcast. Mm-hmm. And then you meet them in person and you see the more nuances of their personality. Mm-hmm. And then when you meet them... And then you go back and you watch a podcast. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah, you do that in real life. Yeah, yeah. I saw a podcasting. Yeah, because some people, you're like, they're they're on their best behavior during their mm-hmm. podcast. And I stuff. mean, I and try to be. Too. I, I try to be, too, <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, it was that was a lot of fun. And then and then we kind of, we did shopping, and then we stopped and, like, hang out with people. And I got to see Aquila again and Johnny Bo. That was fun. Mm-hmm. I had just seen them the weekend, or no two weeks before that at Shenandoah Fire right. Festival. So that was really fun. And we got to meet them for the first yeah, time. Yeah, we met them yet. That was yeah. really fun. Oh, I got to see Teresa from Pretty Twisted Yarns. Was there. Yeah, we got um, swag bags. We got little, her. she gave out little pins and little stickers mm-hmm. while we were there. So, well. Yeah. And there's a coupon code too in there. And she said I can share it with my viewers. I'm going to put Ooh. it right here. Um... And you guys can, if you want to order from Pretty Twisted, I think her stuff sells out pretty quick. But yeah, I'm, I will be partaking in that. She was so sweet oh, and Jesus. so Teresa. so kind. She was just so smiley. Yeah, yeah. You could tell she was just happy. And I saw her that. again at, at Ryan Beck, but on Podcaster Hill, but she was so busy with people. I was like, oh, oh gosh, I yeah. Her. I'm like, I already saw her. She's good. But yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Who else? Who else? You met, you saw Chip and Aaron from Fiber Hustle, correct? Yes. And that, she's friends with them from, well, sewing group, Chip. Chip, Chip um, from Fiber Hustle, he has the quilt stream. That's his yeah. little mm-hmm. tag. And he does quilting. So he started a quilting group and that's where I met a lot of the other, there was, we had a group of us. There was five of us. I took a picture with the five of us on Podcaster Hill on Ryan Beck. So we had this group. So meeting them for the first time, because you talk to people mm-hmm. all the time, but to physically, there's something about to be able to physically sit next to somebody mm-hmm. and talk. It, there's a difference between having that screen in mm-hmm. between you. And Aaron's really tall. Aaron is very really tall. tall. Aaron is very tall. Like super tall. And Chip's like mm-hmm. my height. He's pretty tall too. Actually. Yeah, I think Chip's about six foot. Yeah. And Aaron's probably six four. It's Maybe cool to like. Five? They're all tall than me. Poor little Holly's teeny. I'm tall to Holly, which is great. <laughs> it was, yeah. And so it's really cool when your friends and know people because you're like, oh, cool, I get to meet Fiber Hustle. Yeah. Even though, you know, I didn't know them. But it was fun. They are super nice. If Jim you, and Aaron are super nice. Yeah, if you don't watch them, you need to you need to catch them. They're, yeah. they're great. Yeah, they're really great. And then anybody, who else were we like aiming to see? It was Michael. From Peace for Peace, Fiber Hustle. I saw Quilla and them. That's when I met um, we, Tristan. Oh, and Tristan from yes. Dragon Horde. She was vending there. Her and her mom, the Art Cafe Creations, yes. are vending there. Christy, yeah. I'm going to. Yeah. What did you buy them? I couldn't believe. I literally did not. Pr- I held back. I was so proud of myself. But now I'm puking myself for not buying anything from that booth because I was. I already spent money and I wanted to hold stuff back for Ryan Beck. <gasps> Tristan's oh stuff is What one is this one? So this is the Myth Fingering Base. So it's uh, 7525 Marina Wool Nylon. 
and the color is Harpy Havoc. And I, it's funny because I went through her booth and I was, I restrained myself and I didn't get a chance to talk to her. Second time. And I went back later to show her my sweater. And while I was waiting to talk to her, I saw this color and I was like, oh, I didn't see that earlier. <laughs> I need to jump in my bag. Yeah. So. I almost got one of their sock sets. You can hold it closer. Oh, I mean. They she has like a sock set with like two minis and a stitch marker that I almost grabbed. Wait, like. It's <gasps> and you almost got a sock set from Yarn Cafe Creations that was also I purple. So you were like yeah. really loving the purples that she day. She was all over the purples yeah. this weekend. I like it. You're welcome. And actually, my Stephen West shawl is Dragon Horde Yarns. The oh, one right. that I'm going to make. That's right. So. Did you buy anything from Dragon Horde and Yarn Cafe too? Uh, no, I did not. I wanted to buy all of it, but I didn't buy any of it. So, she even had cute like jewelry and stitch markers and um, I was hoping she had she does little resin dragon heads mm -hmm. stitch markers mm -hmm. and I wanted to get them um for Sam so she could Sam is your it. daughter yeah so she could use them for earrings and she is the sweetest person because you lost the back of your earring and she yes. like pulled she found what she's like I got two of these and she grabbed the back of one of the her earrings and and put Aww. it down below so she could. I didn't know that. Yep. Yeah. She's super cute. I was like, I'll, I'll buy the earrings. It's okay. She's like, oh, please. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Sorry for the crinkles. She's super nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, she and is. I refrained from that booth because I already was like, you know, you try to spread, you have a budget. So you try to spread it out between all the days. Because I know Ryan Beck. I spent a lot of money last year at Ryan Beck. And I ended up not even getting that much at Ryan Beck. And I'm like, but yeah, so I'm really kicking myself for not getting a couple more things probably because I, did, I really didn't buy that much yarn. I have Ryan back. No. That's like a little preview. But you got some I got some awesome amazing tools. stuff. I yeah. got some amazing tools. So the one thing I wanted to get at Woolen Folk, Woolen Folk mm -hmm. was my new ball winder. I saw it was reposted on the Fiber Artist Supply Company's um, stories on Instagram that Coats & Co., one of the vendors that's going to be at Woolen Folk, was going to have a couple or at least a small amount of their large maple um, ball winders. And I've always wanted one from them and I just haven't ordered it, whatever. And I was like, well, I'm, you know, if I'm not really planning on buying yarn, so I have a ton of yarn. You guys saw my Europe stash or whatever. So I'm like, maybe this will be like my time where I can go get all the cool tools I wanted to buy. So I was like, okay, they're actually gonna have that ball winder there. Um, I'm gonna hit that booth first. And we actually found it pretty quickly. Um, and then I, first thing I did was check the price because I knew how much it costs online from their shop, you know, from Fiber Art Supply Store. And then you have to pay for shipping and then it takes three weeks. It was the same exact price and I didn't have to pay for shipping. You and I got the last that. one. I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, yes. So I had this big box like right away. I was like, oh, I'm going to be carrying around this box. But then you had an extra Janet tote. I did. Do you want to use it? And we literally barely fit this bo giant box. I have a picture I'll post here of me holding this. But I got the last one. I was so excited. It is so quiet. We tested it out over again. Oh, yeah. We played. Yeah. Totally. It, it, so that was my big purchase. But then also, um, that place had so many vendors. I wanted to buy all the yarn. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Yes. So then we actually, well, if we want to talk about the yarn we purchased, it was botanical yarn. That was the only yarn I purchased. And I literally could have, and they're from the UK, I could have purchased all of it. All of their colors. Oh my god. I it love them just all. just beautiful. They, I wanted all the oh, minis. Cause yes. had, well, I was going to say, I wanted all the minis too. And I mean, I, I, got, much I got a lot of them. <laughs> Look at all those. Look at They're those beautiful just, colors. I, I just can't. Do they have names? Um, or do they just they have don't. Pictures? So this one is the Rhinebeck sock set. This purple and that kind of a deep plum or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and these ones are just Woolen Folk exclusive mini bundles. So purples mm -hmm. and blues in there. I mean, that's a cute little project. Yes, guy. and I got because I went and shopped there. They were like one of the first booths I actually shopped at, and then they mm -hmm. had, were giving away little baggies. And it's, oh, it's got it's wool nice. On it's it. got like a nice texture to it. It is nice, and it even has the date and the. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, cool! We should have bought earlier. Well, well, we got a discount though. They, yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. That so hour. I went back at the end. I made up my mind. I'm like, I need to go buy the what I wanted to buy. And by that time, it was at the end of the night, and they're like fifteen percent off. I was like, okay. Because they didn't want to have to take it back to the UK. Yeah. <laughs> right, and you can't blame them there. So I got, I really saw they had this pattern and display out, and it was the, okay, hold on, Pieces Wrap by Vera of Rain Knitwear. And so I wanted to make it, and so I picked out these two, these we crank Oh, you can't even tell. So turn them around. You can see all the colors. 
So that one's gonna be the piece, like the stripes in the middle, and this is gonna be the fade on the outside. Basically the purples and pinks. Oh my gosh, look at that. I, you guys will see it closer up when I, and then I need, so the, it is 22 minis, this is 20. So I need two more, which, like I don't have enough minis anymore. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna try to grab something like bright pops of like other colors. Cause I really like the set they had that had multiple colors, but that was in DK only. Right. And so I went with these ones. And so I'll just grab a couple of pops of color from my mm -hmm. stash and like add that in. But yeah, I'm so excited, it's so pretty. And I already went and put the pieces wrap in my Ravelry. So I really wanna make that. But yeah, it was a great deal even. It was not super expensive. No, they weren't at for all. For that many minis. Um, and then what did you get, Angel, didn't you? I got, I am all about the fall. Mm -hmm. I have no idea, but I got this one. Ooh, there we go. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know, last year and this year at Rhinebeck, it, uh, it's all fall. I, I don't know if it's because it's fall. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it's be beautiful honest. in northern New York in the fall. Oh it's my so goodness, pretty. it's stunning. But look at those colors. I mean, I mean, how could you not? Because I almost passed. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm really good. I I went for specific things. I wanted um, sweaters. I brought my uh, worsted book, so I was mm -hmm. able to get Amy to Amy on me. Anyway, I got her to sign it, Mother and then yeah. and then we ran into Max the Knitter. Max the Knitter. I about had a conniption because I had I was buying for the once in floral and mm -hmm. um, what was the other one? Uh, um, the, for Fox sake. For Fox sake, I was looking to buy for those, and I saw him, and I pulled those out, and he's like, "Well, do you want me to sign the book instead?" And I'm like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> he's really tall. I did not know he was tall. In his yeah. pictures, he does not look that tall. Yeah, he's definitely taller than me. So that that was a that was a nice thing. But um, yeah, so I wasn't planning on it, but I saw these and I just I could not pass them up. Mm -hmm. And then fifteen percent off. Here's my credit card. Just yeah. just take it. Yeah. So that's what I got there. I like that. And then going back to Coats & Co, though, I bought my ball winder, and then after that, Holly went in and got some yarn, which oh, yeah. I saw the yarn. It was so pretty, but I was like, I just bought an expensive ball winder here, I need to leave. Yes. This uh, is just a mini skein set, but there's seven of them, which I thought is interesting. I've Ooh. never seen, like, a set with seven. It's no. always, like, five or ten. Yeah. Um, And I just, those greens with nice. the peach and the yellow, I just, I'm in love. It's really pretty. I, I just, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but... I couldn't leave it. I know. It was really nice. Well, you did something like this is pretty. Well, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, it could only be. Yeah. That would I be like a that. cute, that would be great for spring. Yes. You've got fall, now do spring. <laughs> well, and it is soft yarn, too, because I'm like, I I, I was going to buy soft yarn, and I on, I think I only bought soft yarn. Mm -hmm. All the all the yarn I bought is soft yarn. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. And then what are and it um yeah. it matches these two skeins I found at the end oh, of yes. our journey. Um, these are the yarn stash created for you by Laura, and she doesn't um name her colors. It looks like, but this one is uh Hunter Sapphire Mix. Oops, coming undone. And this one is uh pink coral and chartreuse. And I mean, look at those together. Yeah, you're yeah. obviously on a palette. I yeah, yeah. I mean subconsciously yeah. and at different points a day that was yeah the thing that very was first in. thing yeah very first thing very last thing so yeah when she we were taking our pictures at the end of the day and to take a picture of like your haul or whatever and hers was like a perfect like fade it was beautiful i was like you did that with like different vendors and without even thinking about it, it was really or cool. or continuing to look at what i'd already grabbed yeah <laughs> yeah yeah something i would have never done Mm -hmm. I would have just been like, oh, that one's pretty, and that one's pretty, and that one's pretty. So what That's else right. did you get at Woolen Folk? I only got one more thing. Um, I got a few. Because I refrained, and I shouldn't have. I mean, well, it actually worked out okay, so I got other stuff, but. Go ahead and show your, uh... oh, yeah, show your woolens and knots. I so, can't believe I did Well, it got crowded, and then I got distracted. Right, so we went into Woolens and Nosh because you have to. We, yes. we, mm -hmm. we met Michelle last year at Indie Untangled. And that's where we got our advents. Mm -hmm. We got our advents for the first time. And because we, well, I loved it so much. We, 
-hmm. the proverbial we. We um, all did. Um, it was like, you have to go into Woolens and Osh. I you love her yeah. And then I saw this, and it, it's just really cool. And an 80s girl I am, and it says, Blair, do you have my leg warmers? That's mm -hmm. the name of the colorway. And I just thought it was so cute. I like that color. So, and I went back and I thought about getting a couple other colorways, but I was like, mm. It was really popular, Ruth. She had a line out the... Mm -hmm. Right. And she's super sweet, Michelle. We met... Yeah. She's super... She's very super sweet. Person, yeah. She is very sweet. I was shocked because I was totally intent on buying at least something there. But I think I was... I was like, if I don't find anything there, I was going to get the half past nude one. And then I don't think I saw it. Either that or it was in that one section I couldn't get to because it was busy. And then I was like... Well, yeah. And then the line mm -hmm. to pay was all by the one section mm -hmm. where oh, she yeah. had a lot of colors. So it was kind of... You know, people are giggling and laughing and like, oh, I need to get in here. And plus it was the first day, so it was a lot more social, but you also wanted, you knew that this is the only time to buy stuff, but you also want to be social. Right. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I don't know, it was, a long, it was nice. It was a long day. It was mm -hmm. beautiful. And then next, Angel got a lot of stuff here. Well, you got more stuff here than right back. I did. I did. So then we went to Seventh Floor Yarn, and then you got the little stitch marker for buying and then I got these those are pretty which oh, are the DK tweed if I can get them right side up which it's a really really dark mm -hmm. navy mm -hmm. it's like a dark night yeah dark. yeah and um, the colorway is double trouble so I just That's I pretty. just thought they were so pretty and they called my name. Mm -hmm. And on the way there, I ran in, because I think we, did we split? I ran into her outside of, um, yeah, I didn't run into Woolens and Nosh. Woolens and Nosh. I didn't get it. Which one. was, um, Chevy from Chevy Rail. Mm -hmm. Chevis. Chevis from Chevy Rail. Mm -hmm. So, and then I basically got, here, she was throwing them, at, I mean, she literally was just throwing them at people, and I was like, it's not like <laughs> one of those. So, yeah. There's that, and then I only have this one more thing, so okay. go ahead and show you Yeah, this. so I went to Twin Mountain Handcrafts because I was wearing my street art cardigan that day, and I realized I saw them, I was like, oh, I'm wearing the buttons. Like, on my street cardigan, I, street cardigan, I had their buttons on there. So I went in, and I was like, I have your buttons. And they're like, oh my god! Because so, they like they said they like never get to see buttons after they leave. Like, oh, yeah. let me see if they, you know, what it looks like and stuff. And so um, they were super cute, which I, I already liked them before. Then I was like, okay, let me take a little look, see. I'm like, I already have, like, I ordered four pairs of sets of buttons. So I already had a ton of buttons. And then I found some earrings, though. So I got myself a pair and then Brooke a birthday pair, which Brooke, if you're looking at this, don't look. She never watches the bag, she does. But the ones I bought for me are these ones. I'll show you guys these ones. Yes, they are beautiful. They're like this gold mirror. Aren't they cute? They look like my hair. For all the times that I go out, never. I was telling them, I'm like, I only wear earrings when I go out, and I hardly ever go out anymore. So it's like, I don't know why I keep buying earrings for myself, but Where are I love them. Podcasts? I could, I know I should. Sometimes they get in my way. Yeah. And then for Brooke for her birthday or Christmas, I, don't, I can't decide which one. Her, her birthday's coming up on Monday. I got her these, which Holly almost grabbed, oh, no. and she put it back. I'm like, okay, I'll get them for Brooke. So you can't tell, but they're little crochet hooks, mm -hmm. and they're resin with like. Gold fleck, a like gold, Ooh, rose gold, yeah, rose flex. gold flex. Mm -hmm. But they're really cute, and little crochet hooks for Brooke. So they're like kind of, yeah, they're cute. And that's all I got there. Well, then on our way out, oh, and so your nation is it your nation's fine? Your nation's. I follow them on Instagram, and I was so excited to see them, but I'd already spent money. And I was trying to refrain, so I was trying not to look at their booth, quite honestly, because I loved all their colors, and then. So she shoved me towards them. <laughs> but anybody else want to go look? Because I'm not buying. Because they had this little kit. And I'm like a collaboration. A right? collaboration. Mm -hmm. So the collaboration was you got a bag with by Beautiful Sister, mm -hmm. which is one of their um one of their bags that you can put over your arm. Mm -hmm. To, to knit with mm -hmm. and then is there a pocket in there there is what <laughs> <laughs> 
I didn't even notice. <laughs> I didn't know there was a pocket in there either. So yes, there's a pocket or you can tie it and then just have it like that. Mm -hmm. So, and I usually don't have project bags because... You make them? Yeah. I, I make them and even before I started making them, I never bought bags. Really? Yeah, I always just... If I wanted a handbag or a wallet or something, I just made it myself. That was just... Doesn't everybody. <laughs> just something I did. Then you also got monster stitches. You got a stitch marker, which I don't know if you can see, but it's like a little tree. Mm -hmm. Almost like a tree of life mm -hmm. sort of thing. So that came with it. And then, hold your horses, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. It's another bouquet. It's another. I, I'm a sucker for a bouquet of yarn. What can I say? Look at those colors. So pretty. And what really had me was the pattern. Mm. So you got the pattern. <laughs> Did that come with the kit? Yes. Oh, so okay. it's called Cryptid Cowl by Jamie Lomax. And it had Nessie on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And oh my God. Which. I'm sorry, and did you go look it up because there's the Bigfoot and the Nessie they had on the table. There's also a Mothman. <gasps> no, yes, I didn't look there's it up a yet. third one. Oh my goodness. So yeah, they had me, they did the cowl and they just showed Nessie and I was like, oh, okay, just I'll take it. And then she's like, well, what color bag do you want? I'm like, um, blue. blue. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. So that's a hundred gram with a bunch of fifties? Yes. So you've got five fifties and a hundred gram. And they're all DK. So it's a DK okay. weight cowl. That's nice. That so it's so going to be nice and oh, squishy. So then, yeah. And then I also ran into the boys at Needles at the Reddit mm -hmm. podcast and they gave, they handed out oh, pens. And, pens. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, that was, that was my day at Woolen Folk, which was more than I was expecting to buy. But mm -hmm. I knew, I told you guys, I said, if, if I'm going to blow money, it's going to be, Woolen Folk is going to She already knew. break the bank. She knew she was going to spend all of her money at Woolen Folk. Just, yeah. by, just by looking at the vendor list, you kind of yeah. have an idea. And I actually restrained a lot because I could have gotten it. I had just bought all that yarn from Dragon Horde. So I was like, I, I, I'll refer for, for, for my mystery knit along. Mm -hmm. But I was like, Yarn Cafe Creations. That's three Irish girls. I mean, I saw junk yarn there. I'm yes, like, oh, I love all. I loved all the colors. Everything, everything, everything was just screaming at me. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that's. So that was a fun day. It was long. I think it. We left. We almost like closed that thing down. I yes. feel like. And it ended at seven. We got out there before seven, but it was mm -hmm. still like, it was dark by the time we got to the car because it's kind of a walk back. Right. Um. And then we went home. And we stared at each other for a while because we were, we were like, all like. Well, also social battery, right? So you love you love yeah. seeing everybody, but your social battery is just drained. Not with each other, but like other people. Yeah. But then also the first time you met them, it was so exciting and then buying all the people. And you're not, we're not used to, I mean, we're still kind of pandemic like. So it's like you don't really, you're not around people like that. Right. Very often. So we were all like kind of zoned out. But, and then we knew we also had to wake up early the next morning for Ryan back. And we're like, oh man, it's going to be. Be, but we still stayed up till two o'clock in the we morning. We did because we're like showing each other we bought, and then we're chit chatting like we never see each other or something. And uh, and we had some wine. It was it was fun. And we did hardly any knitting this weekend. I hardly. You I saw think I did sock. less than last year. I hardly or yeah. than I hardly did it last year. The you saw I haven't touched the sock since we got back. And I got to knit in the car ride, and I still hardly knit. Right. Because mm -hmm. I was just like zoned out because I like staring. Mm -hmm. I was I was also the navigator. Yes. It's a very hard job. And I'm like, hey, in 65 miles, you have to turn. <laughs> it was very hard. Um, and so then, yeah, and the next morning we woke up. My air mattress was great. I think my air mattress is more comfortable than my actual bed, which is depressing. You need a new mattress. But we got up and we went. What time did we get to Rhinebeck? Uh, it was probably 1030. I thought it was earlier. Or closer we go to 10. Weren't we supposed to be there early and then other people were late? I think that's what it was. 9.30. Yes. We were supposed to be there at 9.30, and I think we got there, you're 9 right, 45, 9.45. Like but and it was good because it wasn't that busy. No, we were able to go through. We parked at a great and parking spot. Yeah, I have my day one of Ryan Beck. Yeah, we're going to go by days because that'll be easier. There's my day one. <laughs> I thought one day. <laughs> she did really good. It was more of like, well, okay, so we were really excited to see White Birch. 
white birch yes. with the striping I showed you, the self striping that I'm doing from last year. Um, we were really excited. We're, okay, we're gonna do some damage at white birch. We're gonna get all the self striping. We walked, we knew they were gonna be there. We knew what uh, building they were gonna be in. We walked and beelined right to that booth and there was an empty spot. They were not there. Yeah. And they hadn't posted anything. I hope everything's okay. I hope well, they're okay. Well, when I went, I went back and looked at the website, and she said she was uh, basically not dying yarn for the time being because of uh, health. Oh, okay. But well, but she didn't go into detail, so oh, okay. I well, really I hope they're, that was just. But we wish them on the, the best. Page. Yeah, wish absolutely. absolutely. Definitely hope you're feeling better. Hope everything gets better, but. We you were definitely missed. Absolutely. Missed. We were like, no. And then literally we searched for two days for cell striping yarn and the very last day we found a, a basket. Yeah, on our one way out the basket, door. Uh, one place. And it, it was like, usually there's a couple different booths and yeah. 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 there's none. I was like, out of this whole festival, this whole humongous festival, no cell striping yarn. And either that or we just didn't see it. And we must have missed it the first day because that booth was there. Was, yeah. yeah. We found it the second day and there's hardly any left, but we still got some. Mm -hmm. We did. But yeah, so first day, what we, so we went, so then, that kind of bummed us out when we didn't see White Birch. We were like, oh. And then we were so tired from the day before. It was mainly a day of meeting everybody. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we stayed in line. Holly oh, bought us all of the Rhinebeck oh, pins. Holly got us Rhinebeck pins. So. Those souvenirs. That's why I did my knitting in line. That was like a one time. Yeah. Because it, I mean, it moved pretty quickly, actually. Mm -hmm. It's always a really long line. So if you go to Rhinebeck and you see like the souvenir tent. It's a really long line, but it actually moves quite quickly. Yeah, they do well. They do well with that. Yeah, that was really nice. And um, yeah, I think we just wandered around. But it was mostly just meeting everybody and. And they have a hill. It's Podcaster Hill, which is not as much of a hill because the first year it was it's hard to find. We're like, where is this hill? We're standing right. It's really just in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it's in the middle and a grassy area in the middle, and it's like a slope, and it's where people can go to meet your favorite designers podcasters or whatever so we were there to meet up with some friends we saw everybody we saw the day before basically is right. there anybody new we saw that day i think all of my own people that we'd already seen so it's like just re-hanging out with friends right. and then and then getting getting to see people fan over them was so fun i was like oh my gosh i know okay, they're so nice mm -hmm. and taking pictures for people that was fun and um so it's a really great place. So if you feel weird, I like that they have that section because if you feel weird about approaching somebody like while they're shopping mm -hmm. or out and about, that's a place where you know that they are expecting to be approached. Yes. So it's a great be like, hey, can I get a picture? Because that's literally what they're there for. And yep. it's really nice. And everybody's super nice. Right. Well, and I found that even through the day. Oh, yeah. That they don't mind if you walk up to them. I mean, in fact, it makes them quite smile. I, I know a lot of them were like, oh, you know, don't be shy. Come see me. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, they really they really do mean that. Yeah. Come, come say hi. Stop me. Take a picture. And yeah. every time we're with people, they're actually, every time they're shocked. It's so mm -hmm. funny. I'm like, you're super famous. You don't know. <laughs> You have how many thousand subscribers and you're surprised that somebody comes up to exactly. you? Exactly. They're like, oh, me? They're like, oh, what? You want to take a picture for you? No, with you. With you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Michael. For <laughs> peace, for peace. He's like, oh, like, no, no. They want to be with you, Michael. Come on, get in there. It's really, it was really, it was a lot of fun. It was. It yeah. was. Hang with our friends. So. And what? then most people left. Like, they, people oh, left God, early. Yeah. It, was, it was, it was so, that was a day that was so super crowded. Right. And. I could, we could barely even get through buildings, and I think it was more like it had been on all the other years, mm -hmm, I guess, because right. we went for the first time ever last year, and it was not that crowded. No. Well, last year, they limited it because it was the first time after COVID. And even then, I don't even think they sold out. No, they didn't. So hardly anybody went, so it was actually quite nice. And then, yeah, so I'll, why don't you start with your purchases, and... I think I got the most on that first day. So this, it says, I'm at Fiber Hustle behind the barn. <laughs> And of course, I had to snag this little yellow one. Look at this skein. Okay, first of all, it's how beautiful skein. is that? That is hand dyed by Erin, mm -hmm. and the little chip basket also yellow. It's my favorite color. Mm -hmm. But so the bags were made by Chip, and the yarn was dyed by Erin. I thought these were mini skeins when you hand them to me, and I realized I'm like it's a full skein. I was like, no. oh my gosh. And they're all three of them. They're just yeah, they're, they're just gorgeous. beautiful. This is so pretty. So we did a we did a little exchange. I made I made them the bags, and then Chip and Aaron made these for us. Yeah, I made nobody anything, and I kept <laughs> getting stuff. It was great. I was like, yay! <laughs> I like being friends with people. Well, why don't you show all your stuff? Yeah, because Holly, if if you if we cut back and Holly's gone, <laughs> she's gotta get going. she's gotta go yes. to work and um, 
I so okay, so the rest of the stuff that I got the first day, I oh, got yes. needle felting kit. Um and we tried it out that night. We each did a leaf, so all right now I have three leaves done. Um and I went back and I had to get more for it's a succulent, right? whatever projects. Yeah, it's a little succulent. So this is a new venture for us. I'm very excited. I we love that booth. That. Felt in Sky. Yes. Yes, felt, they were wonderful. And they have all their stuff online, too. Tons of kits. Um, the other things I got... Oh, that skein is in the bottom of this bag. So... Oof. Oh, yes. This is Blue Raspberry Lemonade <gasps> by Shirsty Cat. Now, there's uh, Soft Yarn. Um, one of the first Hanks to get wound into a cake on my new ball. her new ball <laughs> we winder. We tested it out that night. And I also got these two, um, I don't know what you call them, fiber Hanks, I guess, from Shirsty Cat as Those well. And I'm like, I, I already have blues and purple, uh, blue and purple fibers at home. So I was like, let's get some different colors. Got mm -hmm. some green, some pinks. Um, and then. And then what are the colors on that? Col they, they have colorway color names? names? No. They have Paul 222. Two, two, they're numbers. Oh. So okay. They're just, they're pull worth wool okay. and they have color numbers. Very nice. Um, and then I also got... This is all the first day? This is all the first day. Okay. So Ellen's Half Pint Farm, which I had never heard mm -hmm. of. This is an 80-20 Merino and Tussauds silk. I think Ooh. that's how you say oh. that. It's very soft and I was like, I don't have any yellow fiber. And you love so yellow. I love yellow, yes. <laughs> um... And the other one was this Newport Tweed, which again, I was like, look at that paint. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And I have not had any uh, tweed fibers yet either. So that, I'm like, that's okay. another something new. I love the neon pink with this like reddish. Yes. I love the contrast. Yes. It's so good together. Um, and of course, yeah. I, I tested that one out already. So I also got my first bottom whirl, which like this thing is ginormous, first of all. So um, I didn't realize it was a bottom whirl when I bought it. I was just like, I want that one. And um, that was fun trying something new. I was like, well, I'm going to have to learn now. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is from Woodchuck Products. And the wood is called Paddock, mm -hmm. which I also not heard of. Um, and that's everything from my first day. I'm it's like, I'm beautiful. Ready to, it's like, I mean, that's like a magic wand, but it's got like a, it's nice. like a guard. Yeah. Hey guys, we're back. <laughs> so poor Holly had to leave for her cat appointment. Her cat appointment. <laughs> so we already re-recorded re all of her acquisitions and, um, I'm going to enter them in for each day. So you'll, you'll see her back. Don't worry. Okay. So my first day is really small. I only got this and it was for Brooke. It wasn't even for me. I look, I can lean forward now. Uh, these little snails, aren't they so cute? Brooke loves them. She'll they snails. are adorable. She wanted a little pouch from Cottontail Farm. Um, right here. And they were going to be there. And she wanted a little pouch for her crochet hooks. That's it. And it's actually quite big. I got my hair. Because uh, Pretty Twisted gave Brooke a swag bag even though she wasn't there. So I was like, yeah, nice bottom. She could fit lots of crochet hooks in there. And that's all I got the whole first day. I know, we were like completely amazed. Well, and I couldn't, I don't know if it was like, the, I love the yarn from Wool and Folk. That was like my style of yarn, like the colors and stuff. Yeah. And I got to, it was just like. Right back, the, the yarn were beautiful and I loved a lot of the vendors, but for some reason I felt Wool and Folk, the yarn was brighter. It could have been that it was just more exciting and I was less tired. <laughs> and that's it. You know, we it was that yeah. first day and we were so excited and we just Yeah, I, I was I was too tired and it was too much too much people. Oh, the people. And I was like I had to, I couldn't be there and then I'm like so I did more damage on the second day. But let's see your first day. I think you did most of your damage on the Um, I did do most of my damage on the first day. So, I got So, I showed you my Straya earlier, Straya, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, by but, Andrea Mowry. By Andrea Mowry. Well, I found buttons. Those are really good. To match it. And these buttons are, I mean, spot on with the shiny and everything in it with the gray. So and that came from Hand Spun by Stephanie. So they had they had yarn, they had buttons. I mean, and they literally their buttons were on I can hold racks. This closer. Look, I can get it now. Can you? Yeah. So they're really just pretty. Very pretty. Very marbly, and even the gray from your strias in there. Yeah. 
It was, I mean, it was nice, but there, the way they had their buttons was they had, it was like a, you know how you used to go through um, records records and stuff. So they had that and then they had Velcro attached and they just Velcroed their buttons on. So you really just smart. ripped them off. I was like, this is great. Yeah. Cause then it did, you're not fiddling, trying to pull it out of okay. stuff. So then Keratin Farms, which mm -hmm. I love Keratin Farms. I love all of their yarns. But I very cannot... affordable and very soft. Yes. So this is a 50 50. This is merino silk. So I got these blues. So pretty. And it's their chick. Chicatig. Thank you, because I never can pronounce it. <laughs> it's their uh, it's from um their colors. And the color on this is Hudson River Blues. It's really pretty. So I just thought this would make a great t-shirt. Mm-hmm. And I loved a lot of their yarn too. I didn't buy any because I literally have a t-shirt's worth from last year, but I haven't made yet. So I was like, I already have the yarn. Then we went back um, and we went to Shirsey Cat. And I... I could not believe I didn't buy anything. It's only because I just bought stuff at Shenandoah from her two weeks ago. And right. I was like, I literally, but the fiber was almost calling to me. I know. Oh I kept goodness. looking at it. I don't even spin it. yet, you guys. I haven't even learned to spin and I'm like buying all this. I don't think I bought any spinning stuff at Ryan Beck. Thank goodness. I already have too much. I have For so someone who doesn't know how. Well, that's like when Holly brought back the um, the succulent, the needle felting. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I was like, I do not need another mm -hmm. hobby. I have way too many. But I got, this is 101 from 101 Dalmatians. And I bought it because my daughter wants a... Muscleboro, and she's got, um, I've got a skein of Knitted Wit, it's called Girl Power, and it's purples and pinks and stuff like that, and she wanted half of it that, and half of it uh, black and white. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So I bought this, and I showed it to her, and she loves it. Oh, good. So that's good. So then we're, we're in there, and mm -hmm. we're talking about unicorns and stuff like that. So what do they do? They pop up a couple of their unicorn colors. That's what they do. And they're like, oh! What do you think of these? So I got these three, which work beautifully together. Mm -hmm. So this one here is just plain unicorn. Very pretty. Yeah. I like that bolder purple with all this. It is beautiful. Unicorn. And this is all, are these all in her just sock base? Um, I, uh, no. This is just sock, which is very soft. That's I love the... these for socks. Oh, this is a just sock too. And that is a uh, space unicorn. Oh, that's pretty. So that, yeah, I like that one. This one is um, fizzy and pop, but this is the BFL nylon. I love Shirsey Cow, oh my gosh. I couldn't believe I didn't buy anything. I am I was surprised too, but there was a lot of other colors that I was like, oh, do I need that one? Do I need that one? Her fiber was... So pretty. Right. So, and then my, um, my friend Carrie, um, when I gave her her bag, she gave me this one that she ice dyed. That's cool. I wanted to try ice dyeing. So isn't this beautiful? So pretty. It looks really cool. It's far back too. That's pretty. I What's mean, the inside it, look like? it's really, it's just, it's just a plain. Oh, it's cute. Like and it's pink. got pockets in it. It's a box wow. bottom, but yeah, it's got pockets in it. And it's just a cute little drawstring bag. That's cute. Yeah. So I just thought that was so sweet mm -hmm. that she did that. It's really nice of her. So, yeah. I was like. I like the bottom. Oh, it's like a paisley. Yeah, it's got like this cute oh, little. I don't know if you guys can see it. My arms aren't long enough. It's a parent. Oh, there we go. Some fuzzies already. It's pretty. So. Cool. Yeah. So that was my second, or my first day haul. That was it. Yeah. That's not too bad. I mean, you have four, I guess, at Shirsey Cat. That's not too bad. No, that's not too bad. So then we can run. So then that night, we left kind of, did we stay the whole time? No, we left early-ish. We left early-ish. We stayed the whole time on Sunday. Yeah. And then. That night we went back we were and we so tired. all the needle felting because we were. Oh, yeah. The stabbing so, video. <laughs> so needle felting is literally like I've watched other people do it. And I'm like, that's the one. I'm like, well, that's the one craft I will never want to do. Like I was right. like, I, I used to have any appeal in it. I'm like, I don't need anything felted. Like, I, and I, my assumption was that it was wet felting. I thought it was always wet felting. Oh. 
it's not, it's needle felting. I don't know why I didn't correlate, correlate that. But we watched Holly do one of her leaves and she wanted us all to do it. And I was like, wait, wait, so you just stab over and over again a needle into some wool? Um, yes, please. I want to stab some stuff. So it, and we tried one. It is addicting. It is. It I was is like, very addicting. So and we went back the next day and I was like, I'm getting some felt, needle felting stuff. And I that was the one craft like the where point. I was like, no. And I tried it. I'm like, oh my gosh. I know. You were so excited. Then we went through the the website. Yeah. And you found that that wreath that you really wanted to do. Well, I'd seen it when she bought it the first set. And I was like, oh, this is really nice. But I would never needle you know, felt. That's what I was like. I would never felt. I don't want to do that. And I still saw it. It's like this great wreath. It's like a wooden wreath if it's wooden, but then like you felt these flowers are going on. It was so pretty. I want it for my yarn room wall. I'm yeah. Like, that would be so pretty. But it looks really hard to do all the petals individually and then felt them together. And it was expensive. And I was like, will I do it anytime soon? Probably not. Yeah. I don't need and then they have free shipping on their website, Felt in the Sky. Free shipping over 50 bucks, which that's not hard to get to. But mm. a lot of their kits are 40 and under, but then there's the $70 kits. But then I also saw this pillow cover. Oh, yes. I almost got the pillow cover one. And it was like geometric shapes, but almost looked a little too simple. But then I would still love to have. But I was like, I need something for my wall, not my couch. But right. I love it. That was another $70 kit. I'm like, well, if I'm going to spend $70 on a pillow, I might as well get the wall thing. But then Holly was like, they have $20 kits. Like little sample ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. But that's on day two. So are we done talking about day one? Yes. Yeah. We went we went, went back home and like stayed up late again and went to bed. Like we were like zoned out. And then we woke up the next morning, barely spoke, and ate our bagels and drank our coffee. We were so tired. Yeah, we were. Oh, it was it was just it was too fun. So then we got there a little later. Yes. 10, 10 30? 10 30. Um, met some people we were gonna like hang around with. We walked through some buildings that we I mean most buildings we missed we because missed, yeah. it was too crowded. And then we went back through some buildings where we only got halfway through it. It was like this time we could actually see the stuff. Well, there was the one building where you couldn't even get in mm -hmm. or out because the line for for people to check out for the one booth was blocking. Mm -hmm. So it was just like Yeah. It was crazy. So I definitely do want to go back to Felted Sky where she got Holly got her thing and so I ended up getting a little like kit for a rose like a there's different colors I chose a pink rose they had red and white like a cream and so this is like gonna get me good practice to see if I even like it maybe I'll make it and I'm like no I didn't like it or I can't right. do it very well and then I won't get the garland one and then or maybe I'll love this and it's quite large it's like at least the size of this box like in real life and it comes with everything it comes with the like felting block, like wool block or whatever, all the wool you need, the needles you need. This even comes with like little cookie cutter shapes to like make the petal shapes what you want. It's really, actually I can open it. Let me show you guys. It comes with everything and it's only $20. It was That's a really good one. price. Yeah. And I was like, oh, and then you get this little wool, you know, and you keep that, you know, for other use and, and the needles too. Like you don't, it's not like a one-time use thing. Yeah, that's my colors. I'm really excited to do this. And like the sound of the needle, like hitting the, oh, hitting yes. the wool. It's just like, oh, it's like very soothing. They had, a, they had a whole set of Christmas ornaments that I almost got, but I was like, no, if, cause it, it would sit in the box. Yeah. And we'd be, we'd be, we'd be recording next year. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. I'm trying not to do that. So I was like, I'm, I will most likely start this because it's smaller. Right. The big thing would be very intimidating. And maybe I'm going to like it. And I don't want to waste money. I have a feeling you'll love it. And then I'll get to order because it's free shipping over 50. I'm like, that's easy. Because right. like by the time you buy any, they have all the extra tools you want. You can buy extra things. Um, so yeah, I was really excited about that. And that was a good idea from Holly to... To get the smaller one, yeah. Get the smaller one. It was only 20 bucks, and then you can see if you even like it. And it's really pretty. It I is. I really did like them. Yeah, I figured, I feel like I was going to mount it like on the wall somewhere. It. Yeah. yeah. Kind of cool. And then you didn't get anything from there, right? No, I did not. I have I avoided it. As you much barely as got there. anything that first, that second day, right? Yeah, I what I oh, got. Oh, you did get some stuff. Um, we went to Loopy Mango, mm. and I had I had five. I have five of these at home that I had purchased. And they gave us free bags. And yes, they're huge. 
And everything I purchased the whole weekend fit in that one bag. Yeah, because it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really big bag. And it has rain bag on it, so it's like a, you know. It makes it nice. So I so got you two you already extra. had how many? Five. I thought oh. I only had three. That you had bought from a different store like a while ago. That I bought from a different store. And they're the same dial -out. It says dial -out one. They all say dial -out one. So I don't know if that's just... That's crazy. Yeah, okay, we'll just put one on all the dial -outs or if that's real. But, um... This is called Blue Lagoon, and, and they're 50 gram skeins, mm -hmm. but with seven, I could be able to make, I should be able to make more than just a sweater. Well, I mean, yeah, so they're 50, 109 yards each. It's This one's Dream Tweed. Merino wool wool. So 82% merino wool, 13% wool, 5% viscose. And I think it's like a worsted. Is that right? I think so. Or maybe like an Aaron Worsted. Because um, two makes one of the hats, the cable hats I want. Right. But then other ones, only half of the one makes a hat. But that'll definitely make a sweater. But 700 yards. I think it would make, because a lot of those sweaters, because it's so, they make it chunkier so it's more open. Right, it's more airy. So you can definitely get a sweater, I would say. That'd be cool. So I am going to have to look that up. Yeah. And see that. So... Yeah, that's one of the things I got. And I got some of the same, because I went back to get stuff for Brooke, because Brooke loves, I'm trying to get like brighter colors for her. And so I knew she would probably like this blush pink. So I got the blush pink, but then I also saw this yellow. And she has a sweater and it's like exactly bright yellow. She wore Shenandoah, I think I've shown pictures. So there's this yellow and it is as bright as it looks. It's very really bright. This is pretty pink. She likes a good light pink as well. This is bubble gum. And this one is Sunshine. Oh, that's a appropriate name. Yes, it is. Um, and they're the same thing. It's the Dream, but this is the 100% Merino wool one. Because okay. yours is like Tweety. Yeah, mine's got the... And I got it because I specifically saw a sample they had made in like this cable hat. And I wanted to make it because I saw it hanging there. And so I... But I saw it the first day. I'm like, I need to go home and see how many balls I need. Because there was like no reception. I got no phone reception there. So when I got home or back to our house, I'm like, hey, how many... Do I need one or two? You needed two for the cable hat. And it was called, and it's on their website, and they were having like a half off pattern sale too over that weekend. So I, I paid two fifty for the pattern. Oh wow, that's great! It was the classic cable beanie by Loopy Mango, and so I'm like, okay. So I'm like, well, if Brooke doesn't want yellow, which she's actually told me she wants the pink. Oh okay. I'm gonna make something. My mom loves yellow, so I'll make her something with the yellow. Oh, that'll she'll be totally nice. Wear that, and you'll never lose because I am not wearing that. No. I'll be like a stop sign or like a dandelion. <laughs> Okay. You have to really watch as redheads, other redheads know. I have to watch it with how much makeup I wear, like any color wise. Right. Because I can look like a clown. Or like my sister would say, I look like an Easter egg. See, and I can't do yellow. I love yellow though, but this is really bright. Yeah, yellow on me just washes me out. It might wash me out. But that's all I bought there. They still keep this huge bag. I know. I was like, it was, the okay. end, it was the end of the and day. And it was the end of the second the day. I was literally day. carrying around so much stuff. I'm like, why didn't I come here first to get this giant bag? I could have put everything in. Absolutely. I didn't know. But yeah. So the other thing I bought that I was oh, just yes. like, do you have yours? Yep. So this is from Poly Studio Ceramics. I don't know if you can see that. And... Look at this! Oh my god! It says, that is no moon, that is my yarn stash. So, I love Star Wars. And I just couldn't pass it up. Yes. That's a good one. And, like, and it's blue. And it's blue! Now, I haven't taken it out yet, but it's... Oh, I love it. I also... Love. Because one of the things I wanted to get was a yarn mug. Or like a knitting themed. Right. And that was... They were the only ones again. I don't know what was going on with... This year's Ryan bag. I, I mean, like, know. it was a great, it was a great festival. But, like, the vendors, like, loved them all. They were nice. But, like, it, there wasn't as many selections right. of the same thing. Unless you wanted, like, felted creatures. There were, like, five booths of felted right. creatures. And then you had, like, ten that had the spindles and the, yeah. the weaving and the, um... It was just interesting. What is it? The nanos, the, the wheels. Oh, the electric ones. Yeah. Yeah. So I got the goddess of yarn and wine. That's what I got. Because and it's purple. <laughs> and it's purple. And it's a big one. I like and that's the same size you got, right? Yeah. The nice big one. And then I also got a gift from my husband. So if you know my husband, Damon, in real life, don't tell him. 
he doesn't usually watch. Watch, this is the one he watches. Of course. Um, but I got him a Christmas present, so it's wait till Christmas. Because oh, I just I took my ring off. I got him a mug that says may contain bourbon and it's got Kentucky on it. And if you guys all know that he loves bourbon and whiskey because he gets the advents every year, but it's a really cool blue. It on is. The inside. But um, may contain bourbon. He'll love that. He'll probably do it during work calls just to freak everybody out. But yes, don't tell him guys. Well, you also got the, um, the, um, vodka that he wanted to. Yes. So yeah, cause well he, so last year I bought him these 1857 spirits. They were are out of New York. They do potato vodka, which is crazy cause he's normally not potatoes. They do a special cool potato vodka. And so I bought him some last year for Christmas and he loved it. So the first thing when I said I was going to Ryan Beck, he's like, you have to bring back some more of that yeah. vodka. I'm like, okay. So I, we had to sample a bunch of vodka <laughs> while we were there. And I brought back two bottles, but that's not for a gift. Cause he already knew I was bringing it. This is a secret. And I didn't bring the vodka down here to show you guys. So yeah. That was kind of weird, I guess. Yeah. But it looked like two small bottles. It was nice. Okay. And then what next? The last have? thing for me was when we finally found the self-striping yarn. And it was like a couple baskets. And I we must have seen it the first day because we went through that that booth yeah but it's because it must have been just crowded like two people i'm standing in front of it because only in like one little basket yeah and then they had the they had the one sock that was knitted up and we're like oh everybody we wanted it it was yeah. so pretty of it course. was sold out that one was definitely sold so out. this was this is uh scrumptious pearl mm -hmm. and this is a one of a kind which is the yellows and greens and blues like three or four shades of yellow to green. That's yeah. going to be a good one with a pop of blue. That's actually going to look really cool. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. So I got that one. And then I got, this is AKA Whistle Down for all of you uh, Bridgerton fans. I just, that looks more pink in person. It does. Mm -hmm. It's got more orangey tones on, on uh, yeah, the camera. The camera doesn't like me. It's okay. Looks good. But yeah. But even, I mean, yeah. together... They're really pretty. Mm -hmm. So I just loved it. Yeah. I and also got, I know they're really soft. I got the same one that Holly got, this one of a kind. Of, so apparently it's like a good purples with like blues. So I wonder one of a kind if she dyed them together. Yeah, it could have been. And then I got these other two for Damon. So this one's called Centerfield. That is so baseball. Yeah, I love that. And then this one is called, which I knew he would love, Cigar Lounge. Looks really good in person, too. So these are going to be Sharpie socks for Damon. I'm going to crank these bad boys because, you know, I don't knit his socks too long. Absolutely. Size so 15 feet and he wants them long up his leg. No, thank you. <laughs> I love you, babe, but not that much. Okay. And then, did you get anything else on at Ryan Beck that day? No. Oh, I got my, oh my God, my Swift. Okay. Your Swift. Do you want me to grab it? Yeah, you want to grab it? Yeah. So, okay. I had seen this Swift last year when I was walking by their booth and it's from Yarn Tech. And I thought, oh, those are cool looking, but I had already spent a bunch of money on yarn, right? Well, this is my year of tools. I got my ball winder. And so I'd seen on Instagram, I saw them there the first day. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back and get it on the second day. I was on Instagram, they only had two left. And I knew we were getting there late the next day. So yes. I walked up, but they had pre-orders open. So I fully thought I was going to do pre-orders. And I thought all the different wood costs different things, different amounts. So I knew it would be like more in the middle range of what I wanted. Um, and so I walked up and of course they only had this left, the stripes. And it was the last one and it was the most expensive one, of course. I'm going to kind of loosen it so I can open it up. This was Kim's weekend of buying the last one. <laughs> so it was the last one. I was like, oh, that's the most expensive. I was not planning on um, buying that much money or spending that much money. I'm like, it's okay. I'll just do the pre-order. So, which I thought was weird because I never, I didn't see the stripes online when I was looking. Right. So then we went over, he was walking me through all the different wood price, like woods and their prices and what they were. And he was totally like geeking out on wood, which I thought was so cool. Like he, he, he loved it. I love, and I love that he loved it. And, um, and then he said, oh, then there's, and then the last one, there's the stripes. And it was this price. He goes, yeah, but we don't sell those online because it's only for festivals. 
And, he, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. you need something exclusive. And then they were off kind of out of the way off looking at yarn. And they were like, but watching me, I turned around, I was like, they only sell the stripes at festivals. It's, it's a, exclusive. And Holly was like, him, you have to get, I was like, well, I'm like, you had to be it. You don't carry this normally, basically. Right. But it's, um, it's because all the stripe, all the stripe ones are always different. So they can't, they don't want to sell them online because they never look the same. So it's all this different wood. Oh, too bad Holly's not here because purple heart, right? Yes. Purple heart wood. And apparently one of them is stripey, which is new, like not normal. I can't remember which one he said was stripey. Is it this one? This one? Because he was totally geeking out about it. Um, the wood guy was like, this is like amazing. And I'm like, oh, cool. You can kind of this? see. I don't know. It's just stripey. They all look the same. <laughs> and then this is a different kind of wood. And then they're all different. And they like make this. And so every single one they make is different. And then... So this is the base. You slip it on and it is like magic. I mean, it this spins so one. quiet. This one's a stripey one? Yeah. I thought it was that one. Yeah, that one. And then what you do is you have it together. You like just loosen it a little bit, which I always forget which way it loosens up. There we go. So you have it like this. You put your yarn skin on, you widen it to tighten it, and then it's done. There's no moving pegs. There's a, which is the one I have, or I don't know. Trying to get it around yeah. the big, huge umbrella switch. And it totally is so smooth. And this base holds it steady. I, I was, and I had it going fast yesterday because I was like on a winding spree because my new, my new tools are so fun. And it doesn't budge. It's so smooth and so fast. Absolutely. And, and then it comes with this tool where, so you, once you're done, you can take, once you're on your ball winder, you can slip this cake onto your, this, replace this with this. And then you can knit off it if you want to. Like, oh my gosh! So and no those, these are for these are for um, stitch markers. So you can you can pull from the outside. I was using this as also for cone winding. I would put it on here for to wind it onto my cones for my sock machine. Isn't this like so good? Oh my gosh! So it all comes together, and this is so it's yarntech.com. So they have other woods that are all solid wood and you can buy order them online. And they said they were taking pre-orders and they were going to have them done before Thanksgiving. So in case you order wow. them. Wow. So it was really fast, which I thought I was going to do. But then I was like, I'll take the last one. I'll do it. I thought I should have, team. but like my beautiful ball winder, which is like, I think it's maple or something. I don't know. And then, no, it's not maple. But it's like hand wood, like wooden. This is all when like I feel like I should have a showroom for like but like nobody sees me wine yarn just me <laughs> it's so pretty though but it is for you I mean yes oh my gosh it's so nice because my other one was it was okay but it was my ball winder was loud and like you couldn't have I mean nothing you couldn't talk to people you couldn't watch TV right. you couldn't and then it was um it would skip a little bit so you had to like fix the ball this one knits cakes so or uh, winds up cakes so flat. Well, Holly showed her one. Yeah. The lemonade. And I've been getting better at it because I know what attention I need to pull on it and stuff. But yeah, it was so, that was my big purchase. That was first thing in the morning. So I had to carry this around all day. But then I really wish I had this bag and then it made it easier. Oh, yes. Because <laughs> it didn't come totally. in a box. They just kind of handed it to me. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> You're like, like, a box? 10 30 in the morning. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? But then everybody could ask me about it because I was carrying around. They're like, what is this? I'm like, yeah. yeah. And they're like, nice. we want that one. We I was want like, one just like that. I got the last one. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. I'm really excited about my tools. But that's the only reason why is because I don't buy, I didn't buy a lot of yarn. Right. So I would, if I bought a lot of yarn, I wouldn't have the tools. And I already have a lot of yarn. I know you're looking at she looks over. Well no, you you've got a lot of holes in there now. I mean, I started trying to fill up down here, and I that's definitely stuffed that part the bottom shelf is my three and up fingering weight like three oh, skeins wow. and higher and I can't fit anymore in there hmm. interesting so um day two um I found this wonderful sock blank yes. I have not seen a single sock blank the entire time we were there Me and then either. we were getting ready to go and I look walk past this little um like a discount bin and I was like that's a sock blank. And I pulled it out and literally they only had like a couple inches unraveled on each end and it was discounted like 30%. And I was like, yes, please. Thank you. That's pretty color too. Um, and then the self And it's, it's mm -hmm. double. Isn't it double? Yeah, it's double. So they'll match. Yeah, it's double. Um, what do they call it? Double, uh, double strand. Double strand. Yeah. But yeah, I've never knit off a sock blank before, so it'll be fun. They're fun. And I mean, 
I have the color is beautiful. Too. It is beautiful. It is stunning. It's not the purple you've been all I'm, over, I but mean, the, you know. I mean, I got one right here. Mm -hmm. Um, so these were from Scrumptious Pearl. And these, like, like they said, we were on our way out, finally found a uh, self-striping yarn. And so this one, it says it's one of a kind, uh, but I'm not 100% sure that's true. Because I also got one. <laughs> yes. Um, but it's got all these purples. And I think this darkest color is actually like a deep, deep blue. It is like a navy. Like yeah, it does. Um, and then this one is called Lemon Sour, and it's like, oh my goodness, it's got, I think it's a gold Stellina, or like, oh, it almost, oh, yeah. it almost looks green, so I'm like, I'm not sure, but That's it's got that, awesome. like, neon, uh, yellow tennis ball color, <clears throat> yellow, 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 not, not green, green. <laughs> um, but it's got, with the gold Stellina, I, I just, like, oh, I'm in love with this. It was the only um, sparkly one there. Yes, the only yeah. sparkly one, and my other, like, oh, amazing purchase right. from that day is this unicorn spindle uh from finsheep.net and i just oh my goodness so pretty look at that glitter in there I that's just, beautiful i can't and oh my goodness when it spins all you see is the glitter and i just like i'm like i just want to watch this and i'm like i should actually pay attention to what i'm doing <laughs> but it's so pretty. so pretty yes it's also nice when you're spinning the yellow on it oh yes. yes and that yellow just like goes right with it mm -hmm. And so afterwards, we ordered Chinese, which was so fun. Yeah, that and was really nice. We picked it up, and we were turning around, and then we were like, oh, Perfect Blend is open. Right. Which is their yarn store, and we knew Holly really wanted to see Cirilla's yarn. So I'm like, let's just stop in really quick and go see. And then what was the yarn store called? Uh, and so we the hit perfect blend. the Perfect Blend. Yeah, so um, yarn with, like, some tea and coffee in there. Mm -hmm. And I had seen online, Cirilla said she was going to uh, Rhinebeck, and I looked at the vendor list, and she wasn't on there, and I was like, oh, that's so sad. I'm like, I, I thought she said she was going to be here. And I went, I went and looked, and I'm like, oh, she's at the Perfect Blend. So, yes, at Rhinebeck, but Perfect Blend, not the actual Rhinebeck event. So we were able to hit them up on our way actually getting dinner. Um, they stayed open later on the weekend, and I was like, it's, I mean, and the website says they're closed, but the door says open. Mm -hmm. So we went in, and I got the, again, the only Stellina um, in her collection is called Autumn in New York, and this is just like the most beautiful. I'm like, I don't know if you can tell, those are gold Stellinas, and it's it got does, the that, camera is not doing it justice. I know, it's like so mauvey, pinky browns and tans, and I just, I, it's beautiful. Um, and I've already picked out a TL Yarn Crafts uh, oh, pattern right. for it. Uh, it is called the Westmont Shawl. And it is actually it's Tunisian crochet. So it'll be my Ooh. first Tunisian crochet project because so far I've only practiced and done washcloths. But I have um, a couple other skeins at home that I have Selena in. And I just have to pair it up and figure out which one I want to do it with because I'm going to do it um, in two colors instead of one. So it's okay. chain. And then on our way out the door of the Perfect Blend, I came across uh, these wonderful colors. And this is uh, Perennial. And these are 60, 25, 15 Superwash Merino, Surrey Alpaca, and Nylon. I'm like, those could be socks. But also, so socks. Um, they look like they need to be a Stephen West shawl. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think I've decided on Exploration Station, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. which means I have to learn two-color brioche, which is something I've not done brioche yet. Brioche in there, right? <laughs> yes. But, so I've got, you know, my work cut out for me, a couple new things to try. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I mean, I just... Those are so some good. great colors. Here. I they know, are. and I'm usually not a neon person, but I was like... But I, I feel like these ones. colors kind of ground them I know. really yeah, absolutely. well. Absolutely. Oh, the colors. They're um, neon coral, neon lime, Caribbean, and lead. Very nice. Is that gray? I thought it's that was deep, blue. Yeah, it's a deep gray. And next to all of it looks like a deep navy. Yeah, yeah it does. But yeah, I love it. That's everything I got, though. So then I ended up buying yarn, like my, my actual indie dyed yarn. Cause I mean, this is indie dyed, but like nothing else I bought from Ryan right. Beck. Yeah. And you didn't buy anything from Perfect Blend, right? No, I did not. So I saw Holly pick up that same skein. I was like, that is really pretty. So let me get closer so you can hopefully see. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It is a that gold color. Selena. I oh. have I have FOMO with that. Yeah. And then actually, I was showing Brooke that when we got home, and she said this is the prettiest skein she thinks I've ever bought. She was in love. Yeah. She loved it, and it's actually quite soft. Yeah, I I totally wish I would have gotten one. This is my first Sorella yarn. And then I got. They also had an Emma's pop up. Emma's yarn oh, pop yeah. up there. So she, I. She says, "I'm sorry, I didn't mean to." No, no. Um, Emma, I guess, is every year in October. Is that like she was there last year too? Yeah. Huh, interesting. 
So I went and got some bulky because I was thinking, I'm like, I'm obsessed with hats right now, even though I have a bazillion hats, but that's okay. Those are beautiful. Um, I know, they're so pretty. So this is her Bodacious Bulky. This one is Cosmos. I couldn't decide, so I got them both. <laughs> that's how it goes. And then this one is Glamping. I saw this in another base and I really liked it. I'm like, oh, she has some bulky too. Like, I like the dark. It's pretty. It is very pretty. And this is just 100% super wash. It's very soft. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. So that's Emma's yarn, which I don't, I have never had Emma's yarn either. And Sorella, so it worked out. So that's it. Except we haven't shown Holly's yarn. I know, I left mine at home. So Holly, so um, Angel made bags for us all for our trip. And then Holly had dyed her own yarn and gave us some Halloween little minis. And I gave everybody wine. I brought wine yeah, for everybody. Wine. So these are from Holly. Her this is her first time dyeing. It is. Oh my gosh, she does such a good job. So this is a dark purple. Those are worsted that. weight. Worsted too. weight minis. I was thinking some really good like mitts or something. Oh yeah. Or um I don't know, but this like look at that, look at that in there. And I love this purple. And this green really ties it all in for. She said they called it little Halloween colors. Like cute. You can make yourself a little. A you should do a little purple and brown pumpkin, and then use this as the <gasps> the thing, and then you could have them setting out. I could do that. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I saw a really good uh, pumpkin pattern too. Yeah, I, I think I think I might do that from. because then you could do a leaf and the mm -hmm. stem mm -hmm. for both. I like what you're saying. That's very good. I need to do something else. I will never. It'll be like one of the special things I just stare at forever. Yeah, and that's. I do that a lot. Yeah, that's kind of like what I'm going to wind up doing with um, my little chip basket. It's probably going to set up on my on my shelf. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like looking awful it. cozy on the couch right now. I like, know. Oh, what's up? I know. Hi. Um, and then I think that's it, right? That's it. I mean, we, like you said, we went back. We had our Chinese food. I'm just going to curl yeah. up here. Yeah, we were hung, and then we were we were then we felt like better. Like that day was better because it was less social. I mean, it was still social, but there was right. less people, less crowd. I tried fried pickles for the first time, y'all. Oh my god, never had never fried had pickles. Had it. I am obsessed. I had to have them okay, Friday well, or Saturday and Sunday. Those were delicious. Oh fried my pickles. goodness, some are not are always yummy. that good. They had this booth there. It was like Jimmy's pickles or Freddy's pickles or yeah. I actually kept a card. Where's the card I had for that? Somewhere. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, they're in was, New York. It was yummy. They had fried pickles. They had pickles on a stick. They had shots of pickle juice you could buy. Yes. And also pickled soup. Pickle soup. Which yeah. I had never heard of and I wasn't sure about. But I do love yeah. pickles. Maybe. But I wasn't too sure about the fried pickles. I cannot believe you never ate fried pickles. They I were know. so good. They were. And oh my goodness. I, I was obsessed. I was obsessed mm -hmm. with the fried pickles. It was quite good. So anyways, future plans. So anything future plan, anything you bought that you are going to want to cast on soonish? Um, I want to find a sweater for this. They have a bunch on Lupin Mango's website and you know, it's goes with the yarn because they make it for that. Right. So that is my future plan. But as far as what I purchased, no, mm -hmm. because I made my whole binder. I make a binder. Like last year I made a binder. She made a binder like a week ahead of time. And you know, What's in I, your binder, Angel? So I have my yarn <laughs> stash listed in my okay. binder. And then I print out patterns because I'm like, I want to know, I, I want to plan. So I'm not going to buy anything unless it goes with this. And yet. And yet I bought nothing. <laughs> That went with anything in my binder. binder. And she like a week ahead of time, she's like, I already made a binder. I was like, I haven't thought about it. <laughs> well, I, I needed a break from bags. Which that was I, I totally needed a break from bags. And, and you have the binder from whenever you're gonna buy for those sweaters. Yeah, right. ready to go. So I figured if nothing else, I can keep the binder. Yeah, and when I go to different yarn shops and stuff, I can have that. And if mm -hmm. I find something great, if I don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have, so I still have to cast on the Mondrian pullover for Brooke. I have the yarn. I need to cast it on. It's a chunky sweater. It should be super quick. Right. And now it's getting cold to where she can actually wear it. And then I'm casting on, oh, Muscle Burra number seven for Angel. Yes. I brought it down here. You because did. Because Angel, I said, well, Angel gave me a quilt. <laughs> so I'm making her, 
She gave me one of her quilts. I'm like, Dude, the one that I used over the weekends, I was like freezing. And she's like, oh, you want to buy my quilt? I was like, yeah, I'll buy your quilt. And so I used it the entire weekend. She never even got it back. And then she like gave it to me as I was coming inside, unpacking the car. I was like, no, no, your quilt in there. She's like, you can have it. I was like, oh. I'm like, it's your quilt now. Yay. And so I was like, so I'm making her, she had brought yarn for a muscle brush. Like, I'll never make this. I was like, um, okay, I'll make it. Well, I didn't want to cast it. I was like, we have to wind it. And then the little bit of knitting. I had fun with my ball winder. Look how perfect this is. The there you winder. go. Oh my gosh. I was going to show. <laughs> Look how flat. I mean, that's nice. Um, and this is, which I'm like, I have this. And I, now I want to make a, my own muscle brush. It's yarnable. And this one is born to be mild. I love colorway. that colorway. Yeah. I loved it in the skein, yeah. but I love caked it. up, I mm -hmm. like it even better. So I'm going to cast on that for Angel. That's my number seven. And then I'm going to make the pieces wrap with my botanical yarn. Yes. But that, let's be honest, that probably won't start until after the holidays. Because I'll right. have Advent knitting coming, coming up, which they already shipped my um, hedgehog fibers. I got an email. Oh. But it's coming from Ireland, so I'm thinking that. Yeah. And then, and then the classic cable beanie with the loopy mango yarn for Brooke. That's really all I have upcoming. So it's all small things, but that Mondrian pullover, which it'll be quick. It'll be oh yeah, in. that'll be that'll be good. So will this loopy the oh yeah the that sweater that yeah. So I'm sure. excited. I know, me too. So you've been watching or reading anything? Um, I just bought the movie just the other night. Last, not last night, night before last. About Fate. Have you seen that on Amazon Prime? No. It's. Well, you can buy it on Amazon Prime. You could probably, I don't think it's an Amazon Prime movie, though. It's, you could probably buy it on any of them. But it's like a romantic comedy. Oh, my gosh. I bought it, and then I'm glad I bought it instead of renting it, because then I promptly watched it over again. <laughs> it is so good. It's so cute. It's so funny. Yet, like, oh, it's so good. Get to look at it. I will like have to. I will have to. Um, it's like a holiday one, New Year's Eve one. Oh, I love those. Yeah. Those are my favorite. I do that. No, I haven't been, I haven't been reading I go to bed. I'm like exhausted. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm in the middle of the, I finished, um, a uh, court of thorn and roses and <gasps> I'm on the yet? second one. I started the second one. Oh, okay. Um, and then I like read like the first chapter and I haven't touched it in like a mm. month because I'm just, I go to bed and so I go through spurts where sometimes if I'm reading, my brain won't shut off because mm -hmm. I'm still reliving the story. And it just, it's really weird. Yeah. So, and then watching, honestly, whatever I'm watching, it's usually in the background. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, I think I'm rewatching like Angel while I'm mm -hmm. sewing and, and doing yeah. stuff like that. So When I'm in here and on the sock machine, I'm watching like 20, 20 or 48 hours. If I don't have to look at, but I can listen to. Right. And I love crime shows. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I am all over those, but. Yeah. That's good. Any podcasts you've been like? I really haven't been lately. I've been busy. No, I... My, I, nor, my usuals. My usual. Yeah, I caught up on Michael before we left. Peace for Peace. Peace for Peace um, crafting. And I watched his most recent one when we were at... Ryan Beck. Ryan Beck. We put, we I was put like, I haven't on. watched his latest one. So we put that on. And then um, the last one I watched was Fiber Hustles Live. I watched it with you too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Chip... And his amazing, have you, if you guys have watched Fiber Hustle, he is amazing at the tech side. Yeah. They have like a camera above and then a camera facing them. And then he's got this little like digital, like, so he just flips between the camera and the, cause they were on live and he was flipping between cameras and he was zooming in. I was like, what is happening? And then he posts, he, he like puts the comment up on and the he screen. he does that while they're all live talking. It was like the best live I've ever seen. That was amazing. I need to get... And obviously, if you can't have to tell, the volume's probably not as good because I'm farther back. So I'm like, I need to get the microphones they use. Yeah. Because the microphones they use are really good, too. Which he did. He told me which ones they were. I was like, hey, Chip, what kind of microphones <laughs> do you guys use? Because it's hard. Like, I, you can Google stuff. Unless another right. podcaster tells you what works and what doesn't work, you don't really know. Yeah. And it's, it's nice to get tips. I mean, they've been doing it, I think they said four years. Four or five years yeah. they've been doing it. So... You know, they pretty much got it down pat to, mm -hmm. to have that. And yeah, it was nice. Yeah. They're funny. But yeah, I think all of mine are usuals. I don't even think I've even watched. I had to watch the latest ones with you guys. I'm like, I have been off because I was just, we were busy. I don't even know what it was. We were busy doing nothing. Busy doing nothing. 
Yeah, I'm um, the same way. My I'm... Jeep broke down. Oh, my Jeep broke down. Oh my god. Oh. My Jeep broke down, you guys. My brand new Jeep from last year. We, my husband, thank goodness my husband was with me. We're on a road trip to go see my son for parents weekend. I felt so bad. We we're going to take him and his roommates out to lunch. I had reservations. Oh. We were 20 minutes out in my Jeep. Like all of a sudden, and my husband was driving and like it got overheated out and like, you know, everything was flooding out. So we luckily right next to an exit, we got off at a gas station. Thank goodness. And like all this fluid was coming out and like he opened the hood and steam and I was like, oh my oh, gosh. That's horrible. So he thought the water pump went out and I was like, it's like literally just a little over a year old. And it ended up being, so we had to get a towed. It took seven hours to get a tow truck there, which was insane. Of course, it was a holiday weekend on right. a Sunday. Uh, I, had to cancel, I feel your pain. <laughs> I had to cancel my son, taking them all out to lunch. I feel so bad because they never get to leave campus. And I was like, can we get their escape? But then what I told them was, we're like, okay, order, order whatever you guys want for delivery and we'll pay for it. So just order whatever you guys want. Make it like, you know, and I actually did get to go because my father-in-law drove two hours oh, to us. Nice. He let me borrow the car. He sat with my husband and I went the 20 minutes to go see Dalen. So I had stuff to drop off to him. I got to see a couple of his roommates and they're, they, they was like, well, maybe pizza. I'm like, get something fancy. Like yeah. we're paying whatever you guys want. Get something new and different. So they actually walked into town. They drug my son who never wants to go anywhere. He wants to stay in his room. So I'm really glad his current roommates make him go do stuff. So I walked into their cute little Lexington town and they got Chinese food. Oh, fun. Oh my goodness. I got something different and, uh, you know, so that was fine. But seven hours. And then I oh haven't had goodness. my Jeep this whole time. But I pick it up. I pick it up today, actually. That's good. But it's like, oh my gosh. And then it wasn't the water pump. Some bolts came out. Bolts. I was like, but like the rate, like coolant bolts. I don't even know what this is. That's I was weird. like, um, excuse me, why are those so loose? It's not like I was four by up a mountain. I was driving down a highway. <laughs> I don't even know. Anyways. So. Irritated. And speaking of what was going on the last couple of weeks, Holly got <gasps> married. Holly is not even here. Holly got <laughs> married. Brooke and I got to go. Brooke got her first ever wedding. So yes. you see, she loved it. So, um, for those of you who don't know, Holly married my oldest son, um, Mickey. So we had the whole wedding. I got to be mother of the groom and cried like a baby. I, I cried like a baby. I don't even. I don't even understand. I'm not related. <laughs> I was like, why am I sobbing? I it was. It was a wonderful wedding. We had good. we had such a wonderful time, and I think. I mean, again, that's why a lot of stuff wasn't done. And then after the wedding, it was like okay, we can breathe because all the family was in town. And yeah, you had that, yeah. It was, it was definitely interesting. And yeah. then, you know, two weeks later, we were at Rhinebeck. It was, we were it busy was, every weekend. October is craziness. Yeah. It's craziness this year. So it was, yeah. it was definitely interesting. Yeah. But it was, it was a beautiful wedding. She was a beautiful bride. Oh, yes. Um, I, I would show pictures, but she's not here to give permission. So yeah. I'm not going <laughs> to. We won't do that to you, Holly. <laughs> we won't do that. Um, but if she does get permission, maybe Kim can put one I'll or two. Yeah, I'll pop see. She, maybe she wants to let me have some pictures of her. Yeah, at least the one of the two of them. That would be, be really, really, really pretty. She was beautiful. She he was. was very handsome. He, that's my boy. <laughs> and I think I was crying too because I could see my son in him because my son's yeah. like twenty, and I was like, oh my god, is he me soon? Maybe I don't know. Yeah, and mine's twenty five. Oh. He's, he's twenty five, and I was I was good. I was so good. I you know I was tearing up, and you know my husband's tearing up, and then um, Holly put the ring on his finger, and yes. that was it. It was like I did too. His whole life flashes before my he eyes. Because he looked down, he put it down, and then he looks down. I was like, oh. I know it was just. It was so good. Yeah, you know, you're so proud as a parent, but it's just it's still your baby, mm -hmm. and it was, and he. I couldn't ask for a better support and spouse for him. Oh, we love you, Holly. Yeah. I know. I told her all the time. I was like, you really lucked out in the whole daughter-in-law. I hope I get that too. <laughs> I hope. Come on, Dalen. Yeah. But yeah. No, it was. Uh... It was fun. Yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, Brooke and I should we be able to record here in a couple weeks. It'll be after. Because Brooke's birthday is coming up. So she'll be 17 when we record next. Um... And she's actually been working on some stuff, crochet-wise. So oh, she was good. hoping to have them done for the next podcast. That'll be good to see. Yeah. And then, yeah, so it should be probably beginning of November, I would say. But we have lots of things coming up. And Brooke made a new friend at the wedding. Yeah. Your daughter. My daughter. We've been, they're the same age. We've been trying to set them up forever. But you know how teenage girls are. They don't want to be set up. 
Yeah, they're like, uh, what if I don't like her? And of course they like each other. I'm like, you really think I would pick, I would think you would be friends with somebody who you wouldn't get along with? And like, they were, they were like joined at the hip that whole way. It was so way. cute. Was they were adorable. dancing together and it was really fun. They, just, they were just having fun together. Yeah. But yeah, it was really good. So that was fun. Finally. Yes. So now they'll like go do stuff with us. Yes. But yeah, I think that's it. That's Is it. there anything else we should say? No, I don't think so. I, I think I've shown everything. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you have any questions, if I miss anything, it should all be down below. I'm going to grab all their show notes as well and put links down below. Um, but if I miss something, which probably will happen, and you want to know, just comment or email us. And all of that is down in the show notes. Go you ahead. have a coupon code. Oh, thank you. I have a coupon code. First, Pretty Twisted, I'm pretty sure, gave me a coupon code that she said I could uh, show with you guys. I'll put that down below. But I always have a Scrappy Angel coupon code um, down in show notes. So if I, if you want to know what coupon codes I have, they're always in show notes. Scrappy Angels does not um, expire. No. That's it. Always 10% off, which is really great. But she's also having an upcoming sale, correct? Yes. Next month in November, starting on the 15th. Uh, no coupon code will be needed, but all my bags will be 20% off mm -hmm. um, from the 15th through the 30th. And will you disable the coupon code for that or just like not let it? it um, the, people may not know and they'll just do it. So Yeah, if you put in the coupon code, it won't. Just for that time period. Yeah. After the 30th, it'll be, you can use the, the coupon so, codes. Of October 30th? Wait, October what? 15th, or no, November 15th through November 30th. So it'll be a two-week time in November, yes. and then um, are you going to have new bags in the shop too for that? Uh, I'm going to try to. I'm going to have, oh, my, all my Christmas will be out there. Oh. Um, so it'll be all the fall, Halloween, Christmas, and then I'll probably have some normal fabrics out there too. Mm -hmm. And 20% off, that's a good deal. Guys. And then I should have some of the Notion pouches in there. Mm -hmm. I showed you guys those, right? Yes. Those little leather ones. So those are good. I like those. And they're a good size because they're small enough to fit places, but they hold a lot. Yeah, they're they're decent size. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for tuning in. I know this is a long one, but we had a lot to talk about. Absolutely. And thank you to my guests, Scrappy Angel, and also Miss Kristen Sitches, who is no longer here, but she was uh, she's here in spirit, I guess. Yes. <laughs> but anyways, um, until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.